Ready to make some mimosas. I know. Oh yeah. Oh, let's get let's get real like fancy and girly up in here tonight. Oh Woo! yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Have you guys ever faked being drunk before? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like when I fake it, I still feel it though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you fake it to get out of drinking though, so that's different. Have you guys ever faked it to look cool? Oh, to look cool? Yeah. yeah, yeah you have? Yeah. Well, you really at what age? At what age? At 18. 18? Really Wait, how come? Just because you had like one shot? Because I was my like, first was time yeah. drinking, yeah, and I didn't like, I didn't really feel it at first, but then like, eventually it hit me like a truck, because I, I threw, I threw up. You took a shot or like? No, I was like drinking. I was drinking and I was smoking at the same time, but I never, I didn't know there's such thing called cross. So I was spinning crazy. It was at his house actually. No, no, wait, so then does that mean you faked it before? I was faking it when I didn't feel it, but then it kind of just hit me like crazy. What were you doing? Like, oh, fuck, dude. I was like, just like, uh, like acting like Sue. I saw videos where I was like, oh, that's gross. That's icky. Christy, have you faked it to look cool? You faked it though because you didn't want to drink? Have you ever been drunk? Yes, I've been drunk. <laughs> I feel like you've never, I feel like you've never been drunk before. I threw up in front of my like entire high school basically in my senior year at like the big rival football game <laughs> you got that's fucked up at the that's, rival that's football game fuck. yeah that's that's cool you know how you said uh sometimes like you drink so much and you don't get drunk like but other yes. days if you drink so much and don't get drunk that's when i start faking it so i don't have to take any more shots mm. because sometimes i drink a lot and i'm like i don't feel anything if i keep drinking my stomach's just gonna hurt so let's act drunk so no one bothers me it bothers me when if i'm not like if everybody's around me drunk i feel like i want to go home yeah, I'll just I'll just put my head down and be like, oh my god, no, no, not another one. That's how do you feel, Christine, when you're hanging out with people that are just all drunk and you're not drunk? I don't mind it. You don't care. You said you liked it before, though, didn't you? Didn't you tell me that you kind of like watching people like get fucked up? You're always fucked up, man. Have you ever faked it before? <laughs> Have you ever faked it before? Like I said, dude, I feel like once I start faking it, I kind of like I think I psych myself out. I'm like, maybe I'm feeling it a little bit. Really? Yeah, but you know when I know I'm fucked up, I keep saying, y'all, y'all, I'm fucked up, or I go. <laughs> I'm buzzed right now. Like I say, dude, a lot, I'm kind of buzzing right now, bro. That's what you always tell me. I'm kind of buzzing right now, bro. I'm like, really? I think yeah. when, I, when I try to act normal is when I know I'm like buzzing. Yeah, I'm like, oh, no, wow. don't fucking say that. I'm just like, yeah. Like I try really hard to act like how I would act. That's how I know when I'm. I like, know I'm drunk it. when I go in the bathroom and I start talking to myself. <laughs> that's a good. That's you, a good. Uh, what do you say to yourself? No, just because I'm like, oh, I'm not even that drunk, and I'm like, wait, why am I talking to myself? <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe I am drunk, and then I'm like, okay, I'm drunk. <laughs> it's it's. I me. look in the mirror and I'm like. It's the mirror that does me in, but it's right when I like right when I look in the mirror and I'm like, damn, that's how I know. I start like checking myself out. This? I'm like, bro. When you post in the mirror, you throw the middle of the mirror. That's how you know you're fucked up. That's Wait, fucking so hilarious. that's I'd be <laughs> light skinned in the mirror though. <laughs> that's your guys' turning point is when you start saying like I'm buzzing, and when you look in the mirror. And no, when, mine's just when I go. I, I have to try to act how I would act if I'm sober. When I, when I go pee, dude, I I, I either be <laughs> leaning or I go. I do the, oh, and I know I'm fucked up. That pee is crazy. You want to tell them about this? what? <laughs> oh, <Disneyland. laughs> oh, did you guys get fucked up at Disneyland? No, no, no. no we no. went to Disney, right? And we like we went to the bathroom or whatever. And like, so uh, remember the rules we were talking about in the one podcast? Like, which, you know, which you one you picking? Yeah, did you know the rules? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, me and Sage waited till they cleared out because it got packed, and it got cleared out right when we walked in. So I took like the the uh, the end one on the right, and Sage just like left the space, and he took the one like so he left the space. The rest of the aisle was clear. This guy comes in between us, like super fucked up. He comes in between us with like the rest of the, like the All other three empty. clear. Everything's empty. Everything's empty. He comes in between us and he's like, what do you do? He's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, But it was like moaning. It was like, he was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then I, <laughs> I'm looking down, right? I, I start I'm looking down. Right away, I'm looking like, down. All here is like to my left. All here is. <laughs> I, just, I look Bro, over I could not hold it's it in, he starts cracking up and then I'm still peeing and I, he goes to like the sink to wash his hands and the guy does it again he's like oh my god he's and like then, it, hurts, it hurts so yeah, he's like oh, and then, <laughs> Sage, how old was he? I hear Sage he was like laughing again something. He's older than he was older sure. he was older I, I heard Sage start laughing again from way across the bathroom <laughs> and I, I start I just like you know when you like, you, you, like chuckle like, I, don't get, I was like <laughs> <laughs> And then the guy like he, he like he just kept like like whispering shit while he was peeing. He was like, "Oh my god!" And like, but he was like That's extremely so fucked up. So when me and Sage got out of the bathroom, we just started crying from laughing so hard because we were holding it in the whole time. And then supporters started coming up to us, and I was like tripping. Out. I was like, "What is going on right yeah. now?" Yeah. Some what came up to you? Supporters. 
Oh. I thought he said reporters. I thought he said some hoarders. I was like, what? <laughs> it was it's trippy as fuck. At the, at the Disneyland is crazy. That's fucking weird. I'm so glad that women's restroom has stalls. Your restroom smells like metal. Our restroom smells like metal. Like, meta like, like metallic stuff. How the fuck stuff. do you know that? I'm gonna cut that out. Anyways, <laughs> um, wait, what else was I gonna say? You know, I think that is cool, but at the same time, it's, imagine just us having stalls only. How complicated would that be? Yeah, because we're in and out so yeah, quick. It's, it's like, we are in, we pee, we are out. Like if somebody gotta take a shit, then they gotta go take a shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, we are quick with That's it. the worst, though, when someone's blowing that shit up next to you. Okay, okay. Like, you're, you're, it stinks yeah. really bad. Oh, it's oh, disgusting. No. You ever hear it? Like, you hear it? Uh. Yeah, you hear, like, the whole... The, you hear the fart crack. <laughs> yeah. So, late twist you, a little bit. Do you guys try to hide it or no? I flush. If I know it's going to be bad, I flush it and poop right <laughs> when I hit that You try to hide it? What are you going to... I've never thought like, about that. No, no, no. I, just, I don't know. I just feel weird. It's, it's awkward. I wait till I hear noise on the outside. So you can't hear <laughs> it. Or, like, the sink goes on on the outside. Yeah. I drop it right <laughs> there and there. Like a bomb, bro. Like a bomb fart. I'm talking about fart, not, not poop. Oh, <laughs> oh, when you're peeing, like no, like it, when you're shitting. Yeah, and you need a fart. And you know, same like, thing. I hear a sound, it's dropping. Yeah, that same is thing. the funniest shit. Nah, yeah. bro, we're in a public restroom, man. Fuck, I'm blowing that shit up. I don't care. Yeah, but you know what's embarrassing, bro? When you get when, out, everyone's when staring you get at you, out bro. of the bathroom, bro. That's what I'm saying. Nah, nah. You know what I always do? I make sure I check shoes. I make sure no one was in there that saw me like go in or made me hear like. Or they could hear me. Yeah, you, they could hear me. I make sure. Do you uh do you ever have someone that just like stands right outside the fucking restroom waiting for you to be done? It's like give me some fucking space, dude. Like Hey man, you almost done? No, you see you see the eye in the crack? Uh d yeah, that's just weird too. Maria, how do you know when you're fucked up? And also talking to Mike. When I'm fucked up? Yeah, how do you know? Um like, I'm trying to think. Do you have a turning point? Like, they, I, don't we said, she, like I don't think she knows. Yeah, like we said, like looking in the mirror. Like when you sounds like when you had to convince yourself, like go, going to the bathroom. Mm, okay, once I start throwing the fuck up, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> 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 wow, that's what you. I like, think that's a little passion. That's, that's, like, <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you okay. know either. How do you How do you know when you're drunk? The in between, like, well, the in between, in between. The in like between. when we start feeling like wow, <laughs> fucked no, up. There is no in between for Madhu, bro. Like that, it's just sober and then throwing up. Yeah, I don't think she remembers the in between. Nah, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. All I remember is either waking up in my bed, or just like throwing up in the restroom. You yeah, never, but you there's never, no, there's you never no just moment where like, I'm like, oh, I'm fucked. Oh, wait, I'm trying to think. You never just been like buzzing, like just having a good time drinking, but not no, fucking. Oh drunk. yeah, that's the. How's it? Oh, how do you know when you're? How do you know when you're like buzzing? And how do you know when you're fucked up? Just, just throwing up for both. When I, when I start getting a little horny. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a good answer. You're, okay, not, no. you're not kidding. <laughs> that is a valid answer, though. That's, that's a valid how I know answer. I'm getting fucked up. That's okay. Actually, wow. I take back my answer. That's how. I, that's not how I know I'm buzzing. That's how I know I'm fucked up when I. Want <laughs> Wait, Liar. that's when I want to start. <laughs> That's when I start thinking about dick. That's when I know I'm fucked up. But when I'm buzzed, <laughs> is it like specific? Like, is it like a specific type of dick, or is it like? That's a good question. Of, if it's my question. boyfriend, then if I have a boyfriend, then it's my it's it's his. Yeah. It's his. Got you. But what if you don't though? Are you just thinking if of a I'm specific single. time? You having flashbacks or what? Oh yeah, just flashbacks. Mm. But I don't remember the face though. It's just like flashbacks. Damn. You yeah. Remember, so I don't have a specific person. Are all girls like that? You just at one point in the night, you just tear off his clothes. And you're ready to go. I think so. The pee pee that you're thinking of is it straight? Is it curved? Is it? <laughs> I don't. I, I don't really inches? think that detailed. I'm ah. just like I just be thinking about. <laughs> she, she's on, she's like hunting. <laughs> about sex. Yeah. She's looking around the room. Do you guys get horny every time you drink? Like every time. I could be. <laughs> what does that mean? Valid. That actually girl, made sense. Uh, that made yeah. sense. If my girl's there, that that like if I, because like we've gotten, we've done like dangers, like we where you all get fucked up, and I'm like, I'm not really horny, you know. <laughs> well, I, guess I, I, I hope I you're not horny around. Yeah, I guess even if I did get horny though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that was on me. Um. Okay. Uh. Everyone ready? I'll go ahead and sign in. Pop the champagne. We'll do the mimosas all around. This is like get, making right. my nose hurt. Just put put them up here. You can put them up here. It's like. Literally, I'm getting headed from this. Heavy. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird, bro. I don't like the, the little thing. Wait, but Nick, to answer your question, because I skipped over that part, the buzz part, I feel like buzz is when you start spinning just a little bit, and you're like, ah. I don't, I don't, like, I don't spin when I'm I think buzz. you get hyper. Like, do you, yeah, yeah, like, are you, do you have more energy? Like, are you kind of catching yourself, like, walking a little goofy, like? I'm not spinning during that time, though. Are you yeah, spinning? I'm not spinning. I've either. never spun, unless oh, I'm dude. fucked up. 
I've never spun. Fuck really? Jar. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yo. Have you guys ever had like blurry ass vision? Yes. You're, yeah. yeah. I've never gotten like you when you guys talk about memory loss, that never I, I, that's too far. You've never me. like never really got, you never woke up in your bed like Never in my happened. life really? I have woken up. That's happened to me like, one time. Happened? Like, no, I, I don't get that. I see I can cut myself off though. <laughs> Unless I mean even that's what I do. I just lie. I'm like, oh I'm so I can't do another one. And you then, ever had nights where like that's good you just Shanda. you just keep going? You're past the point of return, my friend. Like, so you just, you're I like. I always return though. Like I never, like I can really feel like, I think I feel shitty. Nah. That's why. Like I get so like, especially if nothing's going on. Like sick? Yeah. Like if nothing's going on and it's just kind of boring, but I somehow got drunk or like on the way home like, oh, in a car, yeah. I start getting sick and I'm like, oh, I'm stopping. I'm never like, I don't feel good. Let's do another shot. Oh yeah. Never like I know that. you are like that. Really? I hit a, no, I hit a, so there's a point that I hit where I'm just like, I am so fucked up. Does it really matter if I take five more shots? You get what I mean? Oh. That's that's the point of return that I'm no, not going Because I, I, I passed it already. Like there's, right, I hit right. this, you that's, know? That's when it starts tasting like water. Yes. It does matter at that point because then you're at even more risk of alcohol poisoning. Okay, but I'm not getting like that though. Like I'm not fucking down in it. That's like, that's a, that's a bottle right there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not down in it, but I'm like, yep. Like every time they ask me, let's take a shot. I'm like, yep, I'm not fighting it anymore. I'm not fighting you know? Cause I'll throw up way before I like black out. I can't go to sleep though. If I'm, that's why I don't like to drink like that much. Like if I, I can, I'll go to sleep if I like drink a lot. Like I'll sit up in my fucking room till like 6 a.m. Like watching a video. Cause I just can't sleep. I'm out. I can't lay down and put yeah. my I, like close my eyes or I get nauseous. Yeah. Wait, same. I can't sleep off alcohol. Yeah, like yeah. I literally have to sit up, I wait till sunrise, and I, that's when my stomach stops. Wait, hurting. we're still the same because I everybody always. Every. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody knocks the fuck out when they're super drunk. Like yeah, I know okay. all of you guys just oh, knock yeah, out. out. Nah, yeah. sometimes I don't I though. I be I be in my own pain. Like he didn't catch me this last week. I was pain. On my couch <laughs> on Thursday. On my couch? No, on the floor. You were I still, was, you were spinning. passed out though. No, but I was spinning before because I knew, I was like, oh. Sage, I fucking, I love the way you sleep, bro. Like, <laughs> and like on the ground, the way you sleep is just like a body and it's you like just, this, <laughs> and the toes, bro, the toes are just rubbing together, bro. Sage, Sage, you want to sleep on my couch? Sage, you do be sleeping weird. I remember that this one time. <laughs> he sleeps like a dolphin. You, you sleep like this. No, so peaceful, but you knocked out with like a pizza on your lap. With no plate, just a pizza on your lap. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Oh, dude, you had no idea how much I wanted that pizza, though. <laughs> Did you eat it? It was like, no, I didn't eat it. He's oh. fine to sleep no, to eat no, the pizza. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody sat on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, and then Manu told me, like, yo, somebody, where's your pizza? And I was like, oh, shit. Damn, we've had some rough nights this past 2022 nah for real christine you had you had a lot of rough nights no no shanson every time I, I told you when my stomach start, starts hurting i'm done mm. okay um well anyways guys let's go ahead and sign in and start popping open the champagne yes sir and we're live you know, does it really matter when i say and we're live anymore because i no keep so doing much. it yeah. uh, okay. and we're okay. live in three two one Welcome to today's podcast, everybody. <laughs> Hello, and it's still your old flow. How'd you how'd you intro? Go ahead. Last no, time? no, you take it away. Go ahead, take it away. Welcome to today's podcast. Uh, with me, I have a couple of special guests. Please introduce yourself. Maru, Nick, Davino, Christine, and Sage. And my name is Sean, and I'm going to be your host today. What? Today we're doing an award ceremony. Wait, Whoa, no. you didn't even know, bro. Wait, what's what are we thing? what are we celebrating, man? <laughs> Hey, wait, Sean is not the host. Sean, I tried so hard to be the host today, no, and he's I'm just, just taking the no, title. No, I'm not, I'm not the host. I'm not the host. Wait, I thought I was gonna be the host today. Wait, no. Oh, wait. I thought you were. <laughs> Let me sign in, and then you take over. Okay. 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 Anyways, guys. Um. All right. Well, we already did all our introductions. Uh, we are celebrating three hundred thousand fucking Woo! subscribers. Woo! Let's go. Uh, and we are also celebrating the new year. Right now, it is, I think, five? It's the 26th. So we're six days away from New Year's, right? Oh, yeah, so this is going to air the day, no, January, the day of New Year's. Jan no, January 2nd. Yes, so, January 2nd. After. So happy New Year's, motherfuckers. Happy um, New Year's. Happy New Year's. Merry New Year's year to you. While I open this up, <laughs> tell them what we have in store. Okay. So today, <laughs> we're going to give... <laughs> The table. Yesterday, I popped one. I don't want to interrupt. I know, I know. I feel you. Go ahead, go ahead. You're good. Interrupt. Now. <laughs> interrupt these motherfuckers. Today, we're gonna. 
<laughs> oh my okay. god. Holy yeah. shit. You're done. Which way do I point it? <laughs> Under the okay. table that way. No, 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 no. Nick, pop it first. I feel like I'm gonna hit that light. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're in the worst spot. No, no, no. Okay, okay, fine. Sage, take it. Sage, do the same thing you did last do, time. Do it in that corner. Yeah. yeah. You should just do it. Pop it, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, bro. I'm so scared. Sage, Oh, shit. Oh. Sage, drink it. Oh. I almost broke that shit in my car. Keep, keep talking, Maria. I'll go ahead and pour up the... Uh, pour everybody? Okay, here. Yes. Okay. So, since the year's... Since the year's over... <laughs> 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 or since the year is about to be over. No, the year is over. Oh, well, not right now. Not yet. Should though. we talk in like the past tense? Like, or the. the no, 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 just, do, just do whatever you feel. Present. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, I said that wrong. I meant like, because it's dropping on the second, be like, since the year is over. Oh, okay. Yeah, since the year is over, we decided to give give away oh. awards to certain people. <laughs> and we're going to take a vote on who in this table deserves which award. So. Wait, wait, don't start yet. Okay, I, just, I clicked the button. Yeah, I don't know if it was the clapping. Wait. Oh, I thought we were letting the people choose. Why? Would, <laughs> wait, <laughs> no, how would they, how would we give out the award then? How would she give out the award? I don't know. I thought you were gonna I, do a poll I today. I could have done a voting poll, but like some people don't really know like our personal lives. You know what I mean? Like I feel like more. Oh. Some okay. of these questions are like personal, yeah. Or mm, you gotta know us to. I'm confused. Are you but I feel like they, you guys really, really know us. No. I feel like they could guess who's gonna get which they award. Could, I'm honestly. sure they could guess. If you don't agree with the awards. Comment who you think should have got the award. Honestly, we talk about our lives so much. You guys pretty much know us. It's like kind of crazy. Specifically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sean, you're going to get there. Sean, when you open up a little bit. Hey, man. They're going to know exactly what kind of person you are. Let's just, let's just get this over with. <laughs> okay. Tell me when to start, Nick. Okay, Actually, wait, let's wait. pour ourselves yeah, up yeah, some yeah. first. Sean doesn't know how to pour champagne. <laughs> I was about to call him out. So... Before we start the award ceremony, I'd like to go ahead and cheers all my friends to 300,000 subscribers and to the new year. To more life. Oh, to more life, my friends. Salud. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. 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 Salud, my people. Wow, 2023, huh? Mm. I, didn't know, I didn't know if I was going to make it this far. Yep. Wow, this is... I, I'm sorry, guys. I definitely poured too much orange juice in your guys'. Ours uh, is good, though. Yeah. Uh, did you tell them also after the award ceremony <laughs> that we're going to be <laughs> talking about Best memories and shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But we should do one, like a couple questions before, like intermission. What you mean? So we'll do like more, like um, just podcast questions before I go into them. Gotcha. I have so, one podcast question. Okay, but so, so after we, we do the awards, we're going to do a couple co bleh, podcast questions. And <laughs> <laughs> we're going to finish it off with more like memorable, like emotional questions. Yes. Mm. Kind of like get to know his questions. Oh, no, no. That's in the beginning. Never mind. Okay. Just just wing it. Just go for it. I'm going to just go for it, just honestly. For it. I'm just sorry. Yeah. I've, I've, I'm a little bit more confused than I've ever been. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to just go for it. Okay. okay. Make, dude, please scoot me. Please. <laughs> I, 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 told, I told Maru I was going to be way nicer there from now on. I told Maru in my room. I was like, Maru, I'm sorry for all the times I got mad at you. Like, I'm going to be way nicer. She's like, thank you, Nick. Drops barbecue sauce on my floor. Spills all of my Chick-fil-A food on the ground. Literally drops my entire plate and she goes <laughs> <laughs> Literally just went and I'm like, I was like just pick it up please. I know he, you actually didn't get mine. Yeah, I, I was just like please pick he it up. He just gave gave me the eye though. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get started, you guys. Okay. So <laughs> Wait, wait, sorry, real quick. So yeah. you're gonna say the award and then we're all gonna go so in a circle. So I'm gonna say it in a question start. form. Gosh, and then you guys- Should we start like, like have the same rotation every time? So like yes. Sean starts and then- Yes. Okay, oh, we just vote. vote. Yes. So we're, we're yes. gonna vote like person by person. Yes. And we can also debate. Like if, if we think, nah, that's not the right person who deserves the award, you could be like, because this and that. So we'll debate. Should okay. we be explaining why with our choice? Yes. Ooh, yeah. Uh, but let's not expose anybody. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how that was gonna be. Okay. I mean, what kind of questions is it? Yes. No, but only. <laughs> yeah. We can always cut part out. Parts out. Okay. So the first one's kind of easy. Who had the biggest glow up this year? Glow up? <clears throat> I buzzed my head, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I already have. I look, I look like a rat. Oh, I, I, I'll go. I think Devin. I don't know. You mm. just look sexy as fuck. Thanks, man. I'm <laughs> blushing. Right? Did you have the mustache going into 20? Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't like lined up and it wasn't like, it was like, whew. okay, you go. I was going to say Nick. 
Because he got big this year. If you see him in the beginning of the year, that man was skinny. Yeah, you're pretty yeah. scrawny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say... Hmm. This is physical, by the way. I know. I'm probably going to go ahead and say... I'm going to say I'm gonna say Devin, too. Oh, I would say yeah, Devin. Yeah, I was going to say Devin. Hey, it's my turn to yeah. vote, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you already won. You're I'm going to go Sean. Sean? Oh, you were going to be my second pick. You were going to be my second pick. <laughs> No way. Yeah, I swear. I think I think you you slimmed down a lot and you look like really healthy. You now. look confident right now. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm I, fucking hey, massive. Doesn't doesn't his hair look really really yeah. good right now? I like yeah. I like his hair like that. Nah, dude, that shit's weird. I look like a rat. Sometimes. You have like you know like those Greek god statues. Yeah. You have you got, like you that. Got, you got the Julius yeah. Caesar hair. Yeah. I'm a fucking plot. I'm <laughs> plot. I'm plot the pose. <laughs> Maybe probably shouldn't put that in there. I think it was a. Uh, no, no, I don't think Julius Caesar had the the hair. I think that's that's Aristotle. Aristotle. Julius Caesar got probably had that kind by like of hair. 50 people. <laughs> <laughs> um, you picked, okay, so then. What about Christine? She said Devin, right? Oh. Devin. Yeah, probably Devin. Okay, so. This means I was well, ugly before. We should say the person with the, should we do the most amount of awards or least amount of awards has to do something? Has to, t- has to drink the full bottle. No, because I'm definitely going to finish this. I don't want to finish this. I don't want to drink that. So don't do how that. about a shot or like two shots? Okay, I think with the most has to do something. But the most? Oh, and actually, the least has to do a dare. Okay. Okay. The least has, do to, a really has to get on there, their hands and knees and roar. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. We should be able... So that they know. We get to take their Instagram and post something really... Not super fucked up, but something that's so no, weird that they that. You <laughs> have to post... No! You have to post an old... Okay, fine. Photo of yourself yeah, that you, isn't flattering. Nah, you gotta post... Okay. Uh, like, that's, that's fair. That's, that is pretty fair. Oh, just yeah, something really not bad though. but embarrassing like cringy yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. exactly. Cringy. Oh, or we could do like someone has to post like a really embarrassing thirst trap on their Instagram today like, so everyone's just gonna be freaked out today about it and then and then when this Wait. podcast comes out you can post that it was just a joke <laughs> it's gotta be like what do you think you do embarrassing childhood photo or that I'll we'll, we'll pick. We'll pick. We'll, we'll okay. photo. Are you want to wait until we get yeah, to the yeah. end? Yeah, we'll, we'll just get to the end. Okay. 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 Glove award goes to Davinia Paul. Davinia Paulinho. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for making me look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd not only like to thank God, but I like to thank Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows that? No one knows that. I know that. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you, big guy. Well, that's embarrassing. <sighs> okay. This question: Who was the biggest bully this year? Oh, Nick. Well, this is easy. Okay. Okay. How about how about like to the majority of the people at this table though? Like, yeah. It can't who just else, be too. Who else would have, who, who else would be there? kind of mean sometimes. Christine's, <laughs> Christine's a no, sweetheart. We have more nights of you being mean. If she came out with us, she'd be a lot meaner. I would. Well, she, <laughs> but, but she didn't though, so she's not. Yeah. Okay, Sean, you go. I'm so happy I'm not even in question for this award because usually it'd probably be me. But yeah. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with you. Just, just out of like what I've seen so far. Everybody knows. What have you seen so far, man? I think, I think. Well, I think you're mean to Maru, but th- here's my theory: you're only mean to Maru because she can't like, she doesn't know how to take it. <laughs> like, <laughs> what, do you, I think, what do you mean? Like, if you said that to me, I'd be like, shut the fuck up, you small ass bitch, or something. Like, we, we'd go back and forth. But Maru just kind of like, she just like gets she, like, she shy, gets, like she gets a little, little puppy. mad. Yeah, and then she, she gets mad. mad. Like, She'll say something it, maybe the next yeah. day or, or is, it, is it unanimous? Is it a unanimous? Yes, it is unanimous. Yes. Here we go. Uh, everyone in for Nick say aye. 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 <laughs> Bully award goes to Nick. That should be like a negative point. That's no, not way. Wait, guys, no way. No way. That's what I was gonna say because a lot of these are bad. I think the one with the most awards should do the cringy. The post. positive awards. So these are bad things then. Bad and good. Bad and good. Whoever just has the most awards has to do it there. Because okay. you can't choose, you know? Okay. <laughs> they know who you want to thank. i like to thank um, my dad <laughs> for giving me childhood trauma. Uh, so you put it out on me. Okay. And, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's it. That's probably about it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> okay, this next one. Really think about it, you guys. Really think about it. Okay. Who, Sage. who canceled on plans the most this year? Maru. Maru. No. Yeah. Th- think about it. <laughs> what do you yeah. mean? Think what do you mean? No. Wait. Think about what? I think it was Nick. Nick's never lied on me. Wait. Or Sean. Maybe no, Sean. Maybe maybe I, Sean's pretty up there. But he didn't even show up. Wait, hold on. He didn't even show up. He saw. No, but that's the thing. She doesn't bail. Yeah. Yeah. See, she, she doesn't, doesn't get the invite though. She but bail. she says no. No, thank you. That's not bailing. Bailing is yeah. saying I want to go. Go. And but he's never done that though. He's never. He's never. like, I'm not coming. Don't invite me. Yeah. That's what I do. Nick's never told me that he's coming and he doesn't come. 
He'll tell me that he doesn't. You tell me that you don't, you're not coming. I'll say I. I know when you're not coming. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's. that's I feel like I feel like you guys thing. know though when I say I'm not coming to something. So I feel wait. like Nick. Nick has built on me so many times. Maybe you, but not the rest of them. So <laughs> Man, I do deserve this award. So I'm sorry. You, I'll, see, I'll, see, <laughs> he even admits it. Can you vote for yourself? Be honest. Go ahead, John. <laughs> I would say just Madu because of the group chat. I've seen. That's all I know, though. I don't think Nick bails on me. I don't think any of you guys bail on me. Maybe yeah, we don't don't have the opportunity. Unanimous decision once again. I say Nick, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say Madu. I, mean, I don't Madu. know. I feel like you've seen the group chat. I feel like man. Nick and Madu are always there. I'm always there. Actually, Sage is always there, and then it's Sage me. will always be there, and then it's Madu, and then it's Devin, and then Sean, and then you. I'm going Madu. I think Madu's getting I'm this award. I'm going Madu. I'm going Madu. Oh, I'm going Madu. Okay, sure. I'll vote for Madu. Aye. Baylor Award goes to me. Uh, who do you want to think? Who do you, who do you want to think? Minus one point. I want to thank... Um... <laughs> Nick for giving me really weak-ass plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I want to take... Uh, I want to thank um, my period. Because half the time it's because I'm on my period and I don't want to go out. Seriously. That's a, that's Dude, a solid. That's a solid. No, no, yeah. no yeah. I can tell you why, no. Tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her. Because there's this one time where it was so obvious that she felt fine, but she faked a cough <laughs> to say that she didn't want to go. I didn't even say, it. You're like, you know, you look sick. Are you okay? Like, she said this, oh, I'm on my period. <laughs> <laughs> she went this, she what was this. that? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is that? Uh, oh, that, that got but me. But I was on my period. Why'd you fake cough? She was I trying to play, she played the wrong role. <laughs> <laughs> she forgot what role. She what does a period do again? <laughs> that was wild though. That was the wildest thing I've ever encountered. I, it was a real cough. To this day, I'm going to say it was a real cough. I'm serious. Maybe it sounded fake to y'all, but. It's definitely fake. <laughs> Next. Um, hmm. Who got played the most this year? I know Davinia and Sean are out of the picture. Uh, Christine too, I guess. Sean is out of the picture. I got played at the beginning of the year. Yeah, that's why I, I was going to say that too. Mm. You had good stories at the beginning of the year about that. <laughs> yeah. Christine, it happened in the beginning of the year. But mm. are we talking about like by how many times or by how many people? Or the worst. Just yeah. the worst. Or whatever you guys think. Should we do how many times, how many people are the worst? I, think I would say I'm out of it. I only what, got played like one question? time this year. Um, who got played the most this the year? The most, so it's the yeah. most amount of times. So oh, yeah. yeah. I got played once this year. I'm voting you. Yeah, I think I'm voting Madu. Madu. Yeah, I would vote I you, too. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say yeah, Madu. I, I, I forgot about everything. Yeah, right yeah. <laughs> it clicked. All right, yeah, Madu. Heartbroken award goes to oh, me. You should have done who is the most down bad. Uh, oh, no, the, the simp one is coming up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But okay. I want to thank my motherfucking stupid ass exes. <laughs> Go fuck em. yourselves. Hey, yeah. That's what I like to do. Okay. Right, that one. Next. Um, okay. Who was the most responsible this year? Parent award. Nick. Parent. Aww. Nick. I'll... <laughs> Aww. I was going to say either Sean, Christine, or Nick. But now that you said Nick, I'm like, Nick really was a parent He's this year. Hey, I'm shit responsible. You are. But Devin, you, you did not give me very um parent vibes, though. That's very true. You're very... I'm like the kid that you need to, like, low-key watch. <laughs> You are, you are like the, you're a responsible you're man. Kid, though. You're a responsible you're the man. You're kid on a leash. No, 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 no. But you're you're like a supportive like older brother. But like you don't, I wouldn't put responsibility on you're you the sometimes. Kid. I keep thinking about that time when we all went to the club and I take care of you guys. Way back when, bro, when you dropped my hot dog and then yelled at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I dude, I didn't even get a bite of that hot dog. Dude. And I had to. No, wait, that was at down. USC. Oh, no. You didn't drop my hot dog at USC. I did drop your hot dog. But yeah. you didn't get mad at me. It was at the club. You got mad at me at the oh, club. I, got mad at you. I did get mad at you at the club, though. <laughs> did we talk about this story? Can I tell it real quick? He dropped your hot dogs it twice. You might have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to this event. Christine, do you remember me telling me this story? No. We went to this event, <laughs> and <laughs> I I didn't I didn't drink a lot, but they and they them two and our two other friends, friends got absolutely trashed, especially him. And we were walking out. And I got a hot dog at the stand that was ten dollars. Actually, I think it was twelve. The one that the the lady sold yeah. on the side of the street. Yeah. So I, I got one. I started eating it, and Sage is like, Sage is like, "Hey, bro, you won't give me a fucking bite, huh?" And I was like, I was like, "What?" <laughs> and he's like, "Give me a fucking bite, bro." And I was like, <laughs> "That was what I was mean, though." Yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like, "What?" Yeah, bro, like, I'll give you a bite. Sage <laughs> takes a bite, 
drops the whole hot dog on the ground, does that. I don't say nothing. Sage goes, he looks at me, he's like, and what? And what are you gonna fucking do, bro? And I was like, Christine, Christine, I just like, bro, you just dropped my hot dog. And hey, what? I fucking drop any hot dog I wanna fucking drop, bro. Say, dude, what the fuck? So, dude, so mad, like, in my face, in my face, is like, what the fuck are you gonna do, pussy? I was like, I was like, what the actual. Yeah, bro, you scary as fuck, bro, when you get drunk. Dude, I was so confused, bro. And you ignored me, too, because I was right behind you. I was like, yo, I got next. And he dropped it and started going off on him. I was like, staring at the hot dog on the floor, like, he's like, I don't got an accident. You were like, he's like, dude, I swear to God, at some point you said, like, yeah, I did it on purpose, bro. I swear to God. Oh my God. He said, bro, let me night? get the next bite. You took a bite and slid right out. <laughs> Like, Sage, was that the same night that you slammed your finger in my door? Or was that a different night? That was a different night. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Also, that night also, I took care of you. That night. Yeah, that that night. Did you get a bite of the hot dog at least? I think I got a bite of the hot dog. Yeah, yeah, that was the only one. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty bad. So, I was so confused because he wasn't angry. I didn't do anything to anger him. He was like a drunk stepdad coming home at the end of the night. Oh, and I was, I was just like, what is actually going on? But yeah. That is so fucking That, that sage retired. He's, he's a gone guy it's now. It's the Aries that's, in him. That's the yeah. sage I'm scared to face. I haven't, I haven't seen that sage in a long time. <laughs> not since, not since Taco Bell. That's a, he's unwelcome now. That, that, he's unwelcome. that sage is only Taco Bell and hot dog. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's a dark, that's a dark oh, sage. Man, that's dark sage. Wait, why are we talking about that? Responsibility award. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're out of the question. <laughs> All right, okay. Sean, go ahead. You can I vote yourself. I want to say you, but you lag insane during 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. You are that's not. not responsibility. No, because you'll lay out your plan for me the whole next day so that we'll have time to gym or hang out, whatever. <laughs> And he's like, I'll be up at nine. Duh. I get a text. I'm like done with my day. It's, it's not, like one o'clock. It's not reliability. And this guy bro, texts me like, I'm just waking up. Like calls me. I'm like, don't even fucking bother me like, at this point. <laughs> but I will say though, you, he does get his shit done. He does. He does. So appreciate you, man. probably like three days late though, but I'll give it to you. I appreciate so you. So I'll say Nick. Thank you. Damn, this is a hard one. It's either Sean, Nick, I've or taken Christine. care of you. I held your but hair Chris, back when you were throwing it, up. You're right. I held your right. hair back every single you're time. Right, you're I've right. Been very, yeah. I've been very responsible this year. You have, but I feel like you would be more like the absent father. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but, but you do get father vibes. <laughs> How could he Nick's get the father that the stepped up? Father. I'm not the stepfather. I'm the father that stepped up. Amen. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Cause, cause you kind of left us in the in the dark. We're gonna we're sometimes. Gonna... <laughs> you you don't be going out with Damn, us anymore. Damn, left us in the dark. Or yeah, Jesus. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> where was I? Where was I not? I, I'm kind of get a little serious. I respect it. I respect it though. Okay, okay. You, and, you have your reasoning. And Christine, she gives helpful advice. But honestly, Nick, I think you're the most parent. Like, yeah, Appreciate you get you very guys. fatherly lives. Yeah. Appreciate I mean, you're the father of yeah. everyone here. Mm -hmm. Basically, thanks for the paycheck, Dad. You're the father of this podcast, literally. <laughs> Grandfather. <laughs> Grandfather. Grandpa. Yeah. Okay. All right, Nick. Nick gets the award. Okay. Right, hey, thanks, guys. I appreciate y'all. You go. Thank you, you, you want to thank. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank. <laughs> we already thanked. <laughs> thank uh, you, mom. I'd like to thank my mom for um teaching me to be responsible and to take care of others. Ah, thank you, mom. That's oh, that was sweet. What a nice one. Wow. Okay. Next. Who drank the most this year? <laughs> I'm changing. No I'm question. changing. Who would you like to thank? <laughs> yeah, who <laughs> would you like to thank? <laughs> my dad. My dad knows an alcoholic award right <laughs> there. Wait, wait, wait. And that's a uh, yeah, yeah. No, I stopped though, Dad. I stopped. I'm not that crazy anymore. <laughs> okay. Those like uh, three to four day benders were they adding up? I think I just don't want to drink like that anymore. Yeah, I'm cool. Like, I, yeah, those three to four day benders, bro. I just be like, you. Uh, it was fun during the time. It was fun. Like summer was summer was fun. <laughs> like, it was, it, but I mean, when you got nothing really to, to do, do or crazy. anybody to think about, right. you can go crazy. Go crazy Period. for sure. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. My shit only lasted two weeks, and then I was good. That's the Back worst to time to soul. drink. <laughs> we got who drank the most this year. Wait, oh, we just did it. <laughs> I think I'm sorry. I'm losing brain cells. No way. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. On to the next one. On to the next one. Don't do drugs, one. kids. I'm done doing drugs. Like I am done. Anyways, um, who did the most drugs this year? <laughs> who gave the most helpful advice this year? Fuck. Christine, helpful for me. Advice. Some of some of the this advice Christine gave me day. on the podcast and off the podcast. Valid advice. Go. You go ahead, Sean. <clears throat> this is the most helpful advice? Yes. Okay. Most helpful. 
I'm actually going to go Revan. Thank you, kind sir. (laughs) (laughs) And you said Christine? Yes. I'm going to go Sean. I'm going to go Sage. Damn, this is not going to work out. I'll go with myself. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) So she wins. I actually, I will. uh, Who are you going for? I could could change up the whole game right now. Oh, wait. Now she just won. Yeah, this is a tough one. (laughs) There's a lot. No, no, no. You. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I vote I vote Sage. Ah, oh, this is it. I want to. I have a split. I have a split decision right here. I can't believe no one said me. Anyways, <laughs> she's like, I made this word for myself. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. That's hard because you've you've helped me a lot. Man. Mm, I feel like one. everybody's helped me. Yes. Wait, but I say I say Christine for all the audience. Yeah, Facts. very true. I've learned a lot from Christine. You know actually. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you get Christine from Christine. Yeah. You want to give it to Christine? I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna slide my. I'm gonna slide it back to Christine just because she has taught me a lot. Yeah. And Christine, the podcast, who probably. would you like to thank for this award? I would like to thank Therapist Friend Award. I would like to thank my for therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Christine was low key tra- like I was learning by her trauma. It was like it was like oozing on to me, man. Yeah. I know. So nonchalantly too. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't, I don't know the yeah. Okay. Never mind. So nice. She gives good advice. She does. She Who does. would you like to thank, Christine? Did you say? My therapist. <laughs> Period. Shout out the therapist. That's why she's very good at advice because I'm your therapist. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. This one. <laughs> Who is the biggest alcoholic? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who Sorry. pulled the most this year without trying? Without trying. Without trying. Not uh, with trying. Without trying. Without? Thanks. The award is called Wizard of Oz. Oh, oh that's tough. Yes. It's kind of hard, bro, because we all get like DMs now. You know what I mean? I'd say let's go well, more in so person, in like, person. Okay. Outside, like, it's, it's between. Using your Riz, y'all. Me and Sage? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say as well. I think I think Sage. Because people be, ta- people be talking about you before you've even interacted with them. Yeah. Right. And I don't, I don't even think you got to say nothing. <laughs> I'm the Riz. You know, I actually remember one specific event. <laughs> I'm the <Riz> <laughs> You were literally like, well, you want to see me? He was so drunk. You want to go see me get that girl? I was like, I was, just, I was like, go crazy. He's like, watch me. It's like stumbling, stumbling all the way over to the girl, and he just kissed her. I swear. That is what he happened. He set it up. I was low key. He was low key. I've been seeing him for a long time. He set it up. He set it up. That would be crazy if I did that. Where was this? It, it, uh, it might have been set up. It was okay. at, it was at, it was uh, at, your, it was at your party. Yeah. No, at your party. It was okay. Oh, that doesn't no, count. No, but it was like it was kind of sick. Though. It was no it was just funny because okay. he was like wobbling over there, <laughs> and I think you might have like I feel like you put a hand on because like like you said like letting him know you're gonna kiss. I think you put a hand on her because you're losing your balance, <laughs> <laughs> holding yourself up. <laughs> no. He was really, so right there, I'll give it to you. Right there, I'll give it to you. Right there. Sage, I'm lying fat right now. Sage, 100. Really? percent Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to Sage. Devin, Madu. Oh, Madu. <laughs> you gonna give it to yourself? Uh, you probably you probably pulled a lot of dudes. I can't, bro. I've seen Madu actually interact I, I, with guys, and it's you so did. yeah. Sometimes, bro. I I literally one time, bro. She told me she's like, oh my god, that guy's so cute over there. And I was like, all right, come. I walked her over to him, gave like basically like handed her to him, and like she was just like like she didn't know what to say. Yep. And I was like, damn, Madu got no riz. Yep. But did you end up? Did you kiss him at least or anything? Nah. Is, in this scenario, no. He, he had a girl. He said he uh, had a girl, but I don't know if he really did. <laughs> He just like <laughs> I asked him if if he liked like your type and he's like oh, I'm like I'm not really, not really and I was like oh okay but I didn't know whether to not hand you off or not. Then you should. <laughs> I was already I was already too deep. I handed off his daughter. I was already too deep. That's facts. That is facts. You that is you facts. sent me off for failure. You could have changed his mind. You didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when are, when is, when was this? That was in Newport. It, oh, everything yeah. was already done. Sage, so, by the way, I really like that uh, color on you and that shirt. It looks really good. I feel like an old Wait, man, like, Sage, you good. you lied to me. I'm mad at you. Why? Because you said you were like, okay, never mind. Well, I didn't know the guy. We just what you said you liked him, and I was like, oh, okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now shout out, dub friend, dub friend, dub friend, yeah, dub friend, dub friend. Don't be a wingman. Um, who, so who'd you pick? Who'd you pick? Um, Sage. Devin. I vote Mario. Oh, Christine. I don't know, cause I don't ever go out with you guys. Why don't you come out with us, Christine? Do you not like us? <laughs> she gave me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I don't like you guys. It's oh. just I like being at home more. So what does all come over to yours? Dude, that, that, I'm hit with I'm hit with that line once a fucking week, bro. With this guy. <laughs> we we'll just come over and keep you company, dude. No. No. Oh, okay. I need to be like by myself or like just with like my boyfriend and my cat. Okay. 
Because my boyfriend knows not to bother me, you know? Like, (laughs) we won't bother you. We'll just stand in the corner drinking. (laughs) No. (laughs) Come on, Christine. Just have a shot. (laughs) Dude, just one for (laughs) all of us, please. (laughs) Okay, so I think that award is going to Sahe. Sahe. Okay, y'all have me. Congratulations. <laughs> You're the wizard of honor. <laughs> that is you tough. You should hang that shit up in your you room. You are not him. Marty, your writing is <laughs> so nice. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Sage, I have so many good memories with you, bro. We have a lot of good memories. So many good memories with you. Okay. <laughs> Next. No, I'm still mad at Sage because this man. <laughs> I didn't even want to go up to him because usually, like, I don't go up to people. So, like, I will. He was like, getting you out of your comfort zone, though. Yeah, yeah exactly. Was, you said you liked him, like, and you I, weren't gonna go to no, him. No, I I just said he was cute. I was like, he's cute, but he did say he had a girl. So, mm. I don't know. I just think if you're at a bar and you say you have a girl, why are you at the bar? Why are you at the bar with a group of homeboys? And I was like, man, you are lying to me. I just Anyways, be with my boys. Anywho, <coughs> okay. Next. Oh, dude, Mata, you shouldn't even bring that award out. Who made the dumbest decisions in 2022? (laughs) (laughs) Who wants to go first? (laughs) I'm not going first. I'm not going first. Not it. Not it. No, goes. Devin. Christine. Sorry, what was the question? (laughs) Dumbest decision maker award. Oh. It's really quiet. I gotta think about this one. I would... I would <laughs> say it. <laughs> Who's gonna say it? Just say it. I would say maybe Matt. <laughs> no! I was like, why is everybody quiet? Like do we are we we were all thinking the same thing? Like I was trying to think <laughs> were of Were you thinking who. the same thing too? <laughs> no, I was trying to think of who. And I was also thinking like why is everybody so quiet? It's not like <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to go but with you, Mia. It's Miha. not like in a bad way. It's just like Hmm. You're just very nice and kind, and you give everyone a chance. Right. And you give the whole world a chance. Right. And there are people out there that are very bad that want to take advantage of your innocence. Yes. So therefore, you well are put, very well the dumbest make decision maker. Okay, I'll take it. Yep. See, congratulations. It's all about the way you things. Compliment sandwich. <laughs> Who would you like to thank? Who would you like to thank? Uh, I would. I would like to thank my trauma. I think that's why I am too nice. Mm. Yes. Trauma, or it could be your, about the trauma. Your, 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 your beautiful mother for raising you to see the world in rain, sunshine, sun, oh God, sunshine and rainbows. Maybe, maybe. I don't think so. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, next we got. Sorry, dude. My phone keeps turning off, oh, yeah. but we can cut it. It's all good, bro. Okay, who was the biggest simp this year? Oof. That's kind of tough. Uh, For some reason, even though Sage was the biggest hoe this year. Whoa, oh, wait, whoa. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I was actually going to say something about that. I would say I'm not the biggest hoe because I didn't do really anything this year. I've, I, was, I would say I'm the biggest flirt this year. I would not say I'm the biggest hoe, though. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I would say that's a very valid that's argument. A valid, that's a valid that's argument. That's true. Yeah. I would say you were the biggest flirt, but I would also say you were the biggest simp at the same time. I would say you were, yes. You were always thinking about one girl. Okay, exactly. Yes. Okay, I could I could call you I could call you biggest simp. I could I could say biggest I, simp. I but I the thing is is like I saw the the dog in you. I I saw uh, yeah, the dog was dog. there, but the dog wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? The thing is though is I saw I saw the the character change in Sage. Me too. That was wild. This I saw year. I saw the pendulum swing up and down. And it, it tipped one time, and then it tipped way back again. Right, right, right now it's tipping again. So I want to call him the biggest simp. I, I would say it. I'm gonna go with Sage. I would say yes. I'm gonna go with Sage I've too. Seen, it's I've like there's two wolves too. battling inside of you. One the simp one in the dog. Yeah. The simp one in the dog. dog. Lo- the dog's losing right now. Dog's, <laughs> dog's gone. Dog's been gone. <laughs> the dog Loki scared me. The this dog year. putting up a war this year. <laughs> Sick of war. He's tired, like, bro. You, you gotta should, give him a break. I think the biggest character development of this year would be Sage, probably, just because you you were going through like different things, like. Yeah, it was yeah, everything was very up down up very down good. up down. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and Sage, I didn't really know you were always simping for one girl until and so you told me and I was like, "Wow, I would have never guessed." Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know who you simping. I do be simping. Okay. We got who was the biggest hoe in 2022? I don't even fucking uh <laughs> Probably Nick. <laughs> I'm gonna go Nick. Oh, yeah, after last week, I'm gonna say Nick too. Jay, damn. <laughs> what, what happened last I week? Not, you know yeah. who has a dog I mean, in him? It's this guy. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. 
Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't even have a dog, bro. Nah, this man. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a dog. He has a fucking tiger or some shit. Oh, I got tiger meow. I got tiger meow. Biggest hole word right here. Biggest hole. Who would you like to thank? <laughs> Your you broken like heart. <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, broken hearts and also my crazy amount of testosterone because uh, I do be getting I do be getting horny sometimes and sometimes I can't uh, tame the beast if you know what I'm saying. Oh, sometimes I know what you're saying. You need to feed it. You let one girl come in here and you sent forty dudes home. <laughs> That, Yo, that, honestly, that is crazy. Hey, that's it's true. That is the wildest thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I, and I was a bad guy in the position. I'm, a, I'm over there. Bro, Nick Yo, bro, the no he way. Said, he said, bro, I told you. <laughs> yeah, everybody's outside waiting to come in. <laughs> there was bro, 40 no, dudes. No emotion. No, I don't care. Don't go. <laughs> I don't care. He's looking. He's looking at me, and I'm like, what? and we try. We try. We try guilt tripping. Like, dude, that's fucked up. He's like, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I lock my door. Yeah. Do you have a key? Nope. <laughs> We're, li- we're lucky we're already in the house because oh, we man. probably would have made it. We barely made it in. Oh man, I, I think if y'all had come inside, I would not have let y'all in. That is funny as fuck. But yeah, why okay, not yeah, yeah. we got off the call? Yo, everybody come over. <laughs> yeah, it's been a five minutes. I'll, nope. take, I'll take it. Damn, okay, okay, okay. That's crazy. And the last one is who had the biggest character development in 2022? Ooh. I'm saying, I'm going to go Sage. I could hit Sage. Sage. I'm going to go Christine. Mmm. Big one, I would say Christine. What do you think, Christine? I feel like she Actually, went from. Actually, maybe yeah. She went from. I, would I say feel yes. like when I first met you, you, you like when we first had that talk, um, you were very broken, but I feel like you were like very, like, wise and like, you have the experience now. You know, what I mean? logical. And like, I feel you, like you that still, process like kind of made you it? look different. You too. still go yeah. through it, but um, like, who you start off as to compared to now, like, it's a completely different person. Damn. So I'm going Christine. I'm going with Christine. Yeah, for for Character the better. Development award, Christine. She deserves it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Who would you like to thank, Christine? Ah, you didn't get an award. This doesn't count. This doesn't fucking count. Doesn't fucking count. I'm not doing the forfeit. This does not count. This does not fucking count. I would like to thank um, my ex for breaking up with me in December. Oh. Of last year. Because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be who I am today. Yes. Character development. So thank you. All right, motherfuckers, count your awards. I, I, I just excludes me. I am <laughs> not doing I feel like this. Y'all thought I was ugly now. <laughs> no, no. No. Is it because I got a little head, it's, big hair? <laughs> I have three. I got three. Do you have bad awards though? Oh, oh who has the bad ones? True. Let's see. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are <laughs> right, any of them good? Baylor, heartbroken. <laughs> Wait, what's the last one? <laughs> All right, for Madu, tallying up the votes. It's Heartbroken fine. award. Are we going to say a positive or a negative? Negative. 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 But what? Negative one. How, how nope, is it my nope. fault, though? No, 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 no. Picking the wrong guys. Are we going to count this <laughs> as a positive? Baylor award. Negative. negative. Minus two. <laughs> We're just going to go minus three right off the bat. <laughs> minus three for that one. All right, Madu. Uh, which, oh, oh. Hey, okay, dude, okay, you know one of you and her, but cut yourself out, and it's just Madu. What? The old picture. Oh, bro, that would be the so old funny. picture of you and Madu in middle no, school? Yeah. I have a worse. I have worse pictures than me. Right. Yes, okay, we get, a, we get to choose. Wait, no, no, she don't know. You don't know that she lost it. No, we yet. never said the most negatives. I said the most. We have to rock, paper, scissors. Nah, I say most negative. No, that's so unfair. That's what you wanted to in the beginning, bro. I never said negative. I said the most awards. Replay that right now. <laughs> oh, no, actually, the least has to do it there. Okay. Negative <laughs> awards. <laughs> Most awards, so not most negative. But we're all tied. That's why we rock, paper, scissors. No, to it's it. most negative, my friend. All right, we'll see which one is the worst award okay. that you could get. Okay? So for Madu, just keep keep a note of, we have... <laughs> okay, wait, we don't need to do that. Yes, heart, we no, do. No, no, no. Heart, heart, heart. No, 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 no. I don't have anything bad. We do need... Okay. Oh, you don't. Oh, I'm an alcoholic. Alcohol, okay. <laughs> is that bad, though? Okay. <laughs> so you have Baylor, dumbest decision maker, <laughs> and heartbroken award. Okay, so that's your negatives. That's okay. You have alcohol. I have the alcohol. You have biggest hoe award, and your other one is bully award. You've been a big bully. Oh. Oh. You guys have any bad awards or no? No, you have glow up and that. No, zero. So we have alcohol, bully, and we'll give you Baylor. Baylor and dumbest decision maker, bro. Yeah, but I don't know if there's any hope right now. Biggest hoe? <laughs> Maya, you climbing an Biggest uphill. hoe and bully? This At a... least I wasn't hurting people's feelings. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Exactly. And, and Fuck, I think she got you, bro. I and think making you them are. cry. Calling, me, calling them bitches, too. You know he made me cry? Yeah. Yeah. 
Wait, I hear you call them bitches all the time, though. Oh, oh. You say bitches all the time. No, like, like. No. No. I have a video evidence that I can post. But I don't say it towards them. I just call. I just be like, oh, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that one before. No, like but... he straight up call me a bitch. Oh, you're wild. And it made me cry. Oh, you're so. wild. You're wilding. I just trying to flip the script right Yeah, now. I know. Tell well, you what, well, just because <laughs> I told Madu that I would be way nice to her, I will take the fall. There and I will put a, nice a bad picture yeah. of myself and a bad picture of Madu. No, that no, no, no you <laughs> won't. Okay, I'll do them both. Wait, we gotta... Sage, Sahe, we gotta see your two bads. No, he doesn't have it. He has alcohol. <clears throat> I don't know, alcoholic's pretty bad, dude. I think alcoholic and simp is pretty bad. I'm just saying. Ew, you're a simp? Mm. I don't think being a simp is bad. Okay, you're right. But alcoholic is like it's you're okay. hurting it's your okay. liver. It's okay. <laughs> I'm hurting myself, not others. Congratulations, you guys. You made it through the Wait, year. I'm hanging these up, man. I'm hanging no, mine I'm up. Putting, I'm putting them right there. it up everywhere. Um, no, actually, here. Give them to me real quick. That was fun. Just oh, put them in. Oh, come on. Give them to me, man. Can we take a, a bathroom yes, break? Yes, we'll take a quick bathroom break and then I'll ask a quick podcast oh. question and then we can wrap it up. Baby, are you down, down, take down, 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 I want to see how you lose control. So leave it behind with me. The night to get away, away, away. So come on and fly with me as we make our greatest game. So why don't you fight away? Baby, don't worry. You are my only. No need to worry. Even if the sky is falling down, do, do. you are my own. Do, do. No need to worry, do, do. baby. Are you down, do, down, do, down, do, down, do, down, do. down, 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 down? It's not like an office down, video. Down, 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 down. Okay, office. All right, let's clap back. Everyone ready to clap back in? Down like she posts for me. Bring it down low for me. Down like a temperature, cause it's easy. Easy on the green. Down on overseas. I got that girl from overseas. Now she's my Miss America. I can't agree. A soldier, please. I'm fighting for this girl on a battlefield of love. God, we look like baby Cupid. Said the arrows from above. Don't you ever leave the side of me. No, definitely not. Probably. Down like that economy. Baby, don't worry. You were my only. <laughs> no, I need to. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, clock it back in. I'm gonna ask one quick co- podcast question, and then um. Sorry. Well, this is my. And then um, we're gonna ask a couple deep questions for the new year. Oh god. Okay. That's scary. Uh, so I saw this video on TikTok the other day. I'm talking about how we should normalize when you move in with somebody, you two having two separate rooms, and you both like customizing it however you want. And then just like whenever you guys want to sleep together, you just sleep in someone's room. How do you guys feel about that? It's more expensive. Hundred percent agree with that. Was always thinking that even before like I like saw that TikTok video that went viral. I always thought that. Okay, I want to hear your opinions for it. or like what do you guys think? What do you think about it, that, Sean? Good idea, bad Good idea? idea. I Good think idea. that probably. If I was uh, with significant other, they would sleep in my room, but it's good to have your own space. Right. Like your own space, not just like living room where both of you can be, but if you had your own personal space. Yeah. Personal room where you can collect your thoughts, yeah. it'd be very nice. Yeah. So I agree with that. That's not, that's a great idea. I don't like it. <laughs> I can have my shoe room or like my little hangout space and she can have like her little like get together space, you know, get herself right. Wait, what do you mean, second? Like, she could have her own, like, her own makeup room and, like, you know what I mean, her own area. But not like, two separate beds. Not two separate beds. I'm chilling with sleeping on the couch. If, I, if I'm ever in the doghouse or she's in the doghouse, I'm like, get your ass on the couch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm, lock, I'm, lock I'm, your bed I was going to say, but I don't think she's I mean, ever taking the couch. Like, no, 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 absolutely not. But, um, no, I think it would, it, I don't like the fact of two separate beds, but I like the, the idea of everything. Like, we could have our own space, but not, like, yeah, like a man cave and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. areas to not be together. Yeah, but just someone's own your own space. I think yeah. that's what you need. Christine, what you think? I think. Good idea, bad idea. I'm. I think that you shouldn't have separate beds because, like, if you do fight and like you're going to bed, like you're obviously gonna want to sleep in separate beds. But I feel like you shouldn't 
Do you know what I'm saying? And like having one bed would just make that issue way more easier because yeah. then you're gonna fight again about like who gets to sleep in whose bed. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. So I feel like for that reason or like just in general, I would like to sleep with my significant other every night. But I agree with Sage with like having your own like area. So like even if you do have one room that's like a bedroom, the second room can be like split into like his side and her side. Got you. Gotcha. Yeah, that's Facts. good. That's good. That's, good. Well, that's a great idea. What do you think? Sage's idea. I, I don't know. I'm like, well, what about this? Like two separate rooms. Do you think that you have the money to afford it? Let's say let's say you didn't. Have I just the money think to it's weird it. if you move in with your significant other and you're just sleeping in opposite rooms. <laughs> yeah. But you're not though. You're no. not though. You're sleeping think... together. You're sleeping together. But like oh, you yeah, guys just have to. It's kind of useless though. It's like yeah. it's it's a it's a useless tactic. I could see the different rooms. I would feel weird if, like, I don't my know, dream would those days are gonna happen. Would we got to have opposite three beds. It's gonna like it's just weird. And then you guys are gonna get comfortable with that shit. Like it's not a good mindset going into a relationship either. More of a you know what yeah, I'm saying? like no, it, it has that room. potential. Yeah, Where, like arguments yeah. instead of working it out, going to bed together, you're just gonna split apart. And yeah, like, like there's little shit that will add you get up comfortable. With that. You, you get, get we'll comfortable. get really comfortable. You get too comfortable splitting apart. Really, I think so. I think I. My parents are just fine, and they don't sleep together. They have separate rooms. <laughs> I feel like when you're <laughs> older, though, that's like different. Cause what, Madu? Your parents haven't married like 25 years or something, probably yeah. now. So. Why are you laughing? I don't hey, know, hey, I don't hey, know hey, if you're doing my, anything. My parents, my parents, <laughs> hey, my parents are in separate rooms. My parents are in separate rooms. My parents live in separate like, rooms, too. I don't do they really? How long have they been doing no, that? No, I don't even know why I'm laughing. Shut the fuck up. How long, how long have they been doing that for? My parents have been, my parents' marriage has gotten better since they started sleeping in separate rooms. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all... You guys don't ever get tired, like when you have a girlfriend, and I don't know, I don't like it when he sleeps over for a whole week straight. But I that's that's a little bit tired. wait, but that's a little bit different because y'all ain't like like I'm talking about. You guys both decided to move in together. You get what I mean? A boyfriend's a little bit different. I'm talking about like y'all have yeah. been dating for years and like that too. I feel like sometimes I just want to sleep by myself. You know? Okay. Uh, I feel that. Can I ask and, you? Sorry. No, no, go crazy. And also, I feel like. Sleepovers would be more fun. Like, today, do you want to sleep over tonight? Well, but it's like we're. I think you're talking about in the lit, in the long run. Like we're talking about this, cl- is. this is like already. This is you're moving in together, yeah. and this is like marriage type of shit. So I don't think it's really. Do you want to sleep over today? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not gonna tell that to well, you. Well, you could you could do like fun sleepovers because like. What if you want to sleep over and then it's like two in the morning and you just feel him get up and go to his room and he See? falls asleep in his room? Yeah. Would that bother you? Oh, I'd be so sad. <laughs> Can I also say this too? You want to know why else? I I would probably follow him. <laughs> where, are you, where, are you going? where are you going? I would probably follow him. I'll be like, no. I'll be like, no. You wanted this. You stay in your room. No. <laughs> Wait. But can, like, I, can I tell you when also? When we say sleepover, then we have to sleep over the whole night. Okay. Okay. Can I also tell you why I think? Because I thought about it and I was like, that actually does sound like a good idea. Because you know, it's not like it would work. It would work. But you want to know why I feel like it wouldn't really work? Is because like I feel like w- especially with girls. Like, let's say you and me were doing this, and then like I was like, oh, I kind of just want to sleep in my room tonight by myself. I feel uh-huh. like you're gonna start overthinking it and being like, oh my god, like that's Why? the point. It could cause it could cause so mean? many problems. That's that's one of the points I was gonna make. Right? Like, little shit, you're gonna start overthinking. You're gonna start overthinking it. Like, let's say we have like a little argument, and you think we're okay, and we are okay. But I'm like, oh, I kind of just want to sleep in my room real quick though by myself. Now imagine he did that three nights in a row. Uh uh-uh. uh you know what I mean? It's weird. It's weird. I think, I think yeah. the better result is just to have two rooms to yourself that you could have. Because I honestly, I don't mind sleeping on the couch. I don't fucking care. I'll still sleep wherever the fuck I can. Yeah. She can have that room. But I'm just going to go to my my place, my place to like think and everything. Like she can go to her place and think. But we don't have yeah. to be, our lives don't have to be completely separate together. Like that's not what we're together for. Say that again. Our lives don't have to be completely separate together? Yes. Exactly. I think uh, whatever your guys' relationship needs. If you want yeah. that, then you want that. But I do agree. Yeah. I do agree with exactly with what you're I saying. I feel like that's the biggest <clears throat> thing. Maybe because- we're not at the age yet to understand because, I mean, we're young. But at the same time, I, I do completely agree with you. Overthinking would be fucking insane if you had two separate. I do, like, just have your game room, have your girly room. Yeah. And then sleep together in the bedroom. Because, like, like, what do you guys think? What do you, what if you guys did that? You moved in with <laughs> your girl and she, you guys did the two separate rooms. And she said she wanted to sleep by herself tonight. Would you start overthinking, or do you guys think you'd be like? I think oh, okay. I would. Yeah, I would start overthinking. I would overthink. Like it's just a normal thing to you do. You know when you get more comfortable sleeping on your own, like sometimes people like sleeping alone better. Mm-hmm. Let's say, um, like routinely, like she'd be like, 
I want to sleep alone tonight, and it becomes like three times in a row, four yeah. times. Yeah. I'm gonna be like. Like, are we, like, yeah, what's what is going and then on? she she can always just say like oh I kind of just want to sleep by myself yeah, like there's nothing wrong I personally I would still be like there's something going on though you know I would be like there is something wrong you're yeah. sleeping by yourself every night <laughs> yeah same it's just more comfortable like, no what is wrong <laughs> I feel like sleeping together also makes you kind of like have to resolve the issues so yeah that's what, yeah that's the point I made too yeah. where it was like. Nobody yeah. wants the couch at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and like even if you're in the same bed, it's like you're still gonna want to resolve it because you're gonna lay awake all night. Yeah, laying next yeah, to each other to awkwardly. Yeah. Like you're gonna want to resolve it before you go to bed, and it's always better to like cuddle and go to sleep after yeah. fighting. Be like, hey, are you up? Yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we? Can I just cuddle you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably do that. But yeah. what? What do you think? You still thinking? Yeah. You still want those two separate rooms? Maybe you just haven't had an experience yet that you. Really but that, but some people do though. Like, there's no issue with that. Like, yeah, there's no yeah, issue. Not, I think everybody's just different. But do you think you would? Do you think you'd want that though if you could afford it? Like two separate rooms. Hell yeah, I think I would want it. Like, would you tell your man's that? Hey, like, would it be cool? Like, if we got two, like, there's two rooms in here. Like, you get what I mean? Yeah, if we got our own separate rooms. But realistically, I feel like even if we did have two separate rooms, we'd probably sleep more together than separate. But it's just sometimes yeah. I need that that space, you know? I don't want to sleep with somebody every single night. You don't think so? Unless, or maybe I it's could. because I have a fucking, maybe it's because I have a, a twin bed. Wait, what's a twin bed? Is it twin the- Twin bed is a very, it's very, yeah. very, very small one. Oh wait, yeah. not a twin bed. What's, Full. Queen. A full, I have a full bed. Yeah. Maybe that's why. But if we had a king, nah, king bed, like a big ass no, bed, I got, I got a pretty big bed, and I love sleeping with. Should I even put that out there? Your girl? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's like it's now, now hide her, like... hide her for as long as you can. <laughs> I was like that though. I was like that. Yeah. They will find her. <laughs> um, I wanted to be alone a lot, so I understand right. what you're saying. So. But is it more like a space thing though? Like you go in your own space when you sleep? Because like I said, dude, a king size bed is fucking huge and like it's kind of sick, right? And if I need the space, I could just roll you could over. Just roll over, <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know what? And plus, you always have like the whole like oh, like the like if you guys are arguing, you, he sleeps on the couch, you sleep on the couch, you know? That is true. Would you ever sleep on the couch? <laughs> that is know. true. Maybe I do want separate rooms, but no separate beds. You're right. Okay, you guys got me. Um, I think there was like a cool one. How you said the split? The split is I dope. could definitely like you stay at your like, own place. Have those late nights, yeah. like just on my like. Wait, what? What's the split? Like say like, like you say it's like a two like a two bedroom, but you turn one bedroom into like a little half whatever she wants, half like your fucking monitor, everything just uh, for you time. Game room? Yeah, In like half game room, room, half what she wants. In the same room? Oh, yeah. I was gonna talk yeah, about like, two different like, rooms. Like this, but they were talking, that's a pretty good idea too. Like either yeah. one of you goes in there and one of you stays in the room or like, you know yeah. I mean? just or a place like one is, stays in the like, living uh, room, like one goes in the uh, room to like- Like an office almost. It doesn't need yeah. to be two bedrooms, but if that's what you guys want, then that's what you guys want. Yeah, yeah. It's not something bad, but uh, yeah, personally I think I don't know if I was going with the two bedrooms. I don't think I was. Also, nobody can walk. afford a two bedroom. That's yeah. Yeah, I'm not Nick or head out here. <laughs> Take it out of you guys' paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies, would you guys, if y'all ever got in an argument with your mans, would you guys ever take the couch? Or is, does he always have to take the couch? Hell no, I'm not taking the couch. <laughs> I, I would Unless go it's Nick's couch. That, that shit is mad comfortable. There was one night I got really mad at him and I was just being a fucking stubborn ass bitch and I was like, fuck you, like I'm sleeping on the couch. I was like, I don't want to fucking sleep on your bed. I would tell you right now, it is a power move. I would be like, I w it would trip me out. Yeah. I would say, no, like it's all being good. Being the guy? Yeah, being the guy, I'd be like, hey, it's okay. That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. You know, because they want, they want no, you to, exactly. they want it's, you to, it's, like a, it's a power you move. You say bet, close your door. <laughs> 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 Have the best sleep of your you fucking go, life. And you go in there and you sleep because you already know there's going to be an argument a couple hours later. So might as well get your sleep now. So you sleep and then they'll come and wake your ass up and then you start the argument and you go Why back to bed. Why the did you take the couch? You, you told me you were getting there. And then you overreact. You're like, you took the couch? <laughs> Don't tell me that. And then you go to sleep. Christine, do you ever like use um, <laughs> like the gaslighting tactics you learn about in therapy? No. Okay. I mean like me. <laughs> For your benefit. <laughs> me. Me telling him, like, okay, fuck I you, I'm going to sleep on the couch, like, was just, like... Yeah, how's that gaslighting? I don't think it was gaslighting. I was just, like... I didn't want to uh, fucking argue with him, and he was, like, just come upstairs. Like, I, I was, like, I don't want to deal with it. And then, in the middle of the night, it was nice, though, because he did come down to carry me to bed. 
once I had like fallen asleep. So I ended up waking up in bed, but I was like. You carry up the stairs, bump the head. Bump the head. Boom! Damn, he is a one strong man. Yeah, I mean, I'm just hitting the only ways like 90 pounds. Yeah, because Because I thought you guys said up the stairs. Yeah. yeah. That's not even bad. I don't think you'll be back here, Christine, up the stairs. <laughs> Actually, you're right. Christina's tiny. I can't do that because I'm clumsy and I'm all bump her head on the way up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, bump, I, bump I think the more so yeah, clumsy part, yeah. yeah. Like the corners, yeah, I'd be like, like oh. Yeah, yeah. So Christine, when you said fuck it, like I'm gonna sleep yeah. on the couch in the back of your mind, was it for like two different reasons? One, because you didn't want to argue, you were over it, and two, you wanted to kind of like see what his reaction. Like, was. like not how do I say it in like a nice way and not in a fucked up way? Did you want to kind of like I'm gonna say it like demasculinize him by no. like okay, 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 no, no, no. Were you trying to like? like kind of spite him a little bit no it wasn't anything like that it was just like i was i just didn't understand how to express what i was feeling at the time which was like i was really frustrated and i was just angry and i just needed to like let some steam off i just needed a couple yeah. minutes but this guy was just like super persistent and he like just kept telling me like and like wouldn't i also don't like being touched when i'm like upset yeah. or whatever and like i was just like he was just like trying to like you know pat my back whatever and i was just like i don't want any of it and so i was just i think i just really needed him to like fuck off for a second and like that's like the that's way that i took got you it. got you got you that's why you took that's the couch yeah. maria you ever taken the couch hell no <laughs> <laughs> why would i take the couch you know <laughs> why wouldn't you why wouldn't you what if it's your fault yeah as i say what if you were in the wrong that's the only reason why I'm Tell me you're cheating on him. You, you know, like, what, I've, the you know what I've, I've, I've come to realize, though? It's kind of like, isn't the guy kind of like always in the wrong, though, in a sense? Like, don't we always have to apologize and get the flowers <laughs> and sleep on the couch? And oh, yeah. I, would head, I would head straight to the couch. Like, I would just be like, I, I don't want to do it. I'll go to the couch. Even, yeah, even, like, that's what I'm saying. Even if it's her say, fault, no, though, right? Let's not extend this argument. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's her fault. Yeah, just like, it. just like I'd be like, I'd probably beat her to the couch. And I'd be like, no. Nah. Now, I have a question. Is that the right thing to do? Are you being a gentleman? Is that the it's, right thing to do? Or, or do you think you're just trying to avoid the problem? It's something avoid. That, that became... Avoid. Really? I, 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 I'm not I, a person to avoid card. a problem, I pull that card, like, not a lot of times, but I've definitely done that, where it's like, I'm like, I'm usually the one to talk it out and confront it, the problem, but there's some times where you're like, I'm just like, this is not worth it. I would think my If boyfriend... it's not going anywhere, sometimes I'm just like, very few times this happened where I've just been over it and I'm just like, I've slept like in different rooms, like opposite, like couch, bed. I've taken the couch because I don't want to do it. I lay on the fucking ground. I would think my boyfriend <laughs> like was like fed up with me or like just didn't want to deal with the problem and was like brushing it off. If he took the couch. If he just like was like, okay, fine, I'm going to sleep on the couch. Because then like at the end of the day, we're not like resolving the issue, you know? Yeah. Because like if we resolved it, we would end up in the same bed. Yeah. 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 I think it's, I think it's bad because sometimes I, I, um, I take the blame. But in my heart, I'm still hurting. Like for me, for some fucking weird reason, if I get hurt, literally my chest, like it hurts. Like I, I literally yeah. hurt. So it's like, I feel weird. And then every time that situation were to come up again, it hurts. And I'm like, and I don't say anything. Yeah. I so when shit like that happens, I, I, do, I would not just be like, I'm gonna avoid it and go do this exactly. because now I've, I'm like hurting, you know what I mean? I think that's why I took the couch that night I did though. Cause there was a lot of time where I was just like, either sucking up, like kissing ass. But um, there was just one point where, like, I genuinely did not want to, like, keep hurting myself by, like, kissing ass. So, like, I guess even you doing the wrong thing as in not confronting the problem, just kind of taking that space, like, I'm going to sleep alone tonight. It was kind of like standing up for myself in a way, but it was still, like, the wrong thing to do at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know, like, the... Like, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I understand, I Devin, like, I what you're saying. Like, I guess this is maybe controversial to say but like i feel like what you just said nick like guys always apologizing even if it's the girl's fault like do guys feel like a majority of the time you're apologizing even if it is the girl's fault i feel, I like, feel like i feel like sometimes i apologize because i made her angry you know what i mean 100 percent. like i'm a, now i'm apolog even though it's her fault i'm apologizing to because you got mad you get what i mean right but do you never expect like an apology back because this is like something that I like have been dealing with with Jason, which mm -hmm. I'm. You can just say your current man or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With my boyfriend, and it's like when we fight, like 
he apologizes always. Yeah. But it's he always says the exact same thing of, but I'm so hurt by the way that you yes. reacted because it's usually like when we do fight, it's because I'm like fucking bitching at him and I'm just yeah. like lashing out yeah. without thinking about anything. And so I feel like our conversations have changed a lot once I started saying like, you know what, I'm sorry for the way that I reacted. Like I take, you know, full ownership of like my actions and like I'll do my best to not make this happen again. See that good. that goes a long way. Yeah, very long. I would say I would be like very. Com- I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be confused, but I would be very like. I would be very happy. I would be absolutely. Yeah. Happy. Like, I wouldn't feel- know how to exactly. I wouldn't know how to feel to be honest. Because it's it's just, it's just different. Because you're used to like apologizing because you made them mad. Yeah. You get what I mean? Even though or like because it even whatever like whatever it's like I'm I'm sorry that I got mad at you. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like that's what that's that's what it is. Just because just because like the thing is too is like. It may, maybe this isn't that big of a deal to me. Like at the end of the day, I still want to stay with you. Yeah. So me saying I'm sorry is like everything's going out the window. Like we good. This is it. Yeah. Like we good now, right? Mm-hmm. But like for for that. a girl to say like I'm sorry that I made you feel this way. Fuck yeah, that shit goes a long way. You never you don't really hear that too much because yeah. it's it's completely changed our like conversation. Because like oh, yeah. to him, like he was able to move on a lot faster because he was just like I feel like every time like we would argue like in a couple hours he'd be like I still feel like we're not like on the same page yeah and yeah. like that was why because yeah. like I never really like I feel bad now thinking back about it but like I never really like actually apologized yeah. for like the way that I reacted because a lot of the times they, they were out of pocket you know like yeah. we don't really fight unless I'm like out of pocket with him yeah and so like you know it for him it felt I could tell that he appreciated it a lot yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like the same thing. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I feel like the same thing happened in my relationship too. Yeah. Where I would, I would be less upset at the problem, more upset about how like, I would try to keep it calm, but I'd get like lashed out at at one Whoa. point. Yeah. So yeah. that like, yeah. I can see how like apologizing. Yeah. I've done that too because like it was so like it's just too intense. Yeah, it's too yeah. intense. Like my bad. Yeah. So like it's kind of just to clear the air. But um, one thing that Glow did to make me like feel like way more confident about the relationship mm-hmm. was when we started arguing. Um, when I would start saying like, "Well, I'm sorry for like, you know, what I mean, how sorry always slips out." Mm-hmm. She would always say like, "You don't like, don't apologize to me, like my fault." And then she would also like validate my feelings because before right. it, it was just like, argue and then we're over it, like we work it out. But I would have that feeling like, "Your man, deep down, where it's just like, Something like you couldn't right. have handled that better, like, yeah, really, you know what I mean?" Because yeah. that shit adds on. It adds it does up. Add up. Yeah. So um, I completely understand like that point. So one thing that like Glow did to make our relationship way fucking better what, on her part um, was to like be nicer towards problems. I want to say ever since that, like it seems more calm whenever we fight. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. acknowledging Acknowledge. other people's emotions. Yes. I think as a very calm person, I do not think problems are problems because I just like nothing really affects me in terms of amen brother reactions or like things like that i'm very very calm person so i think like i most of the time will be like why is this person tripping or even like in my relationship i'd be like yeah this is not a big deal so i'll just step back and be like calm down and then i'll chill out but i think like if you're trying to make a relationship work even if you don't think it's a big deal acknowledge at least that they think it's a big deal yeah Yeah. and just be like okay like to me this doesn't really like it doesn't really like freak me out that much, yeah. but if it freaks you out that much, I'm willing to talk about it and understand and vice versa. Yeah. I don't think it's okay to just like what you kind of said, just say, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. It's better to acknowledge mm-hmm. and just be like, all right, this might not be the way I freak out, but if it's the way you freak out, you know, yeah. like I understand that yeah. and that's yeah. it. I think acknowledgement goes a long Same. way. I was going to say, I feel, I feel like, like a lot of arguments too, like sometimes they, like you said earlier, they carry on or they stem from how someone reacts to something. Yeah, they carried on because how she used to react to like validating my feelings where I was like I'm generally hurt but like it seems like you don't realize that even when I'm telling you because you, you don't want to acknowledge it yeah. yeah so she used to not acknowledge it and that's when it would carry on like you yes. just said yes. but when she started doing that I felt so much more emotionally invested even to like working shit out yeah. I was like we understand each other now like put yourself in each other's shoes yeah. it's a lot better you yeah know I mean? because that's good like like Christine Christine Madu like Sean Sage and everything like how often did you or whoever you're with 
say sorry for like how they reacted to something versus like what they did or what you did. You well, get I what say I mean? Sorry all the time. I just like I think it was really bad, but I just wanted to get on. But I'm, with I'm, the I'm dick. saying though, is like how many times did you say sorry to, or did she say sorry to like how they reacted to something? Oh, oh. Is what I'm talking now about. Now a lot. Now, now a lot. But, but what I, about in the beginning though and stuff nah, like that? It nah, wasn't. The development is crazy. That's what I'm saying. It's just like I don't know. Sometimes I, I think I'd get so like I'd have such like a busy day that when you have something that like affects it, like whether you're arguing with her and it's gonna take time, it would, it would genuinely just piss me off. I'd be like, this is not what was supposed to happen. I have this and this, like, it just yeah. kind of ruins your day. You don't wanna argue with someone. So like the sorry would just kind of come out so that we could get past it. But then, you know, that wasn't ever really good. And I think it, and that's the thing, it goes on for, you think it's over, but that goes on forever. Yeah. You're always gonna feel that way. Yeah. So, and you think it's like in short term, like I got it over yeah. with, but it's always gonna come back in the long term, which is like a pain in the ass. Yeah. So now I sit there like a little kid and I'm like, where's my apology? <laughs> I wear it. <laughs> tell me, tell me why, I'm literally like, she'll be like, sorry. I'm like, tell me why you're sorry. <laughs> I'll, be like, I'll be in the corner of the room. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit next to you and tell me why you're sorry. <laughs> Swear to God, dude. I'll be I'm like, not sharing my toys with you either. Yeah, no, literally, sorry. I'll be like, I'll sit over here. I'm not coming over there. Tell me why you're sorry. <laughs> that's literally, that's literally what my no, boyfriend swear, says. Dude, like He's like, kid. tell me why you're sorry. Yeah, I'll, Don't I'll just say out. sorry. I'll blush like, yeah. you out all the time. Yeah. I'm like, okay, what was so mean about that then? Yeah, yeah. I've done that. I've done that. Yeah. I've caught myself saying sorry for shit that I didn't even know why I was saying sorry yeah, for. Catching me looking like a little fucking kid, man. Yeah. <laughs> that hurt my feelings. <laughs> uh, did you guys have anything else to add onto the argument? Maru, you've been quiet, Maruto. You, have you ever, you ever apologize for yelling at, yelling at your man's or anything like that? Or you for the way you, the way you reacted. There. You ever apologize for the way you reacted? Yeah. Mike's up here, buddy. Yeah, no, I have, I have, most definitely. And That's good. They have too. That's good. That shit was still toxic though, so I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is. It well, is what it is. Yeah, you've had a lot of more harsh experiences. I feel like I feel like you've always put yourself in their shoes, though. That's why you're so forgiving. That's the thing, bro. I feel like yeah. I do it too much. Like I think you do it too much. But I feel but like I feel like you've learned from it already, though. You have learned from it, but the past people maybe might have just taken advantage of your oh, kindness. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. I feel like yeah, that's why I attract people like that. Just because they're like, oh, she's probably really easy to like play with. And no, you're not, huh? Not <laughs> anymore. That's what's up. Not anymore. Uh, uh, uh. Um, I have one more thing to add on to the couch question, then we'll go to the New Year stuff. Oh, Mata, wait, wait. Because you said you don't want to take the couch. Um, what if you were angry at him? You still, and, and he was, he like, would you expect him to take the couch? Or would you make it known, like, you don't really want to sleep next to him? Like, would you take up the whole bed type shit? <laughs> no, I would take the corner of the bed. Oh. Yeah, but I he's all. Oh, question: <laughs> Do you do you expect him to take the couch when you're angry though, like your man's or your your husband? No, I would never. No matter how mad I am, like I would never expect him to take the couch. But I would expect him to come cuddle me when I'm mad. Even when you're mad, that, that's no, makes that's, that's makes sense because you have to you have to tell them question, you would have to communicate question, yeah, that. Please. That sounds like you're trying to make the yes. guy read your mind. Question for the ladies. <laughs> uh, maybe that's my toxic tendency. I expect people to it's read not my very, mind. Like this. Um, oh my god! I've heard very... that a million times. Wait, read my mind. Yeah. <sighs> yes, Devin. Thanks. Oh, I, I mess around with that now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so that's sorry. That's not very communicative of you, <laughs> Maria. Devin, you had a question. Sorry. I do for the ladies. Yeah. Ladies, nuts in your face. <laughs> Go ahead. Ask your I'll question. fucking end your bloodline. <laughs> It's a lot of blood. Um, it's a lot of blood. <laughs> so, um, and lines. Um, True. If <laughs> if you're mad in bed, like with them, no, not like that, like that, like okay, sleeping, cool. sleeping, like. Um, Y'all ever had angry sex? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I didn't even get that. I don't want to ask it. You know, yeah, you yeah, said no. that in the past three times. Okay, go okay. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, oh my no, god, no, I need to chill. Okay. I need to chill. When you're angry at. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> When you're angry at them in bed. Okay, when you're angry in the same bed, like going to bed, yes. do you take the blanket, most of it? Oh yeah, all of oh, it. Oh, what a uh, fucking what an asshole. What an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> asshole. I act Seven. like I'm fine. I act like I'm warm and shit. I'm cool over here. <laughs> you're like, you're freezing like, to death. Oh, it's so I know much freezing. cooler in no, here. No, dude, we're like, <laughs> like we're, it's so dude, much more bro, comfy bro, the bro. blanket's I on. I swear to God, I'll do like, I'll get up to go to the restroom and like, she's mad. 
She'll just like expand over the bed, <laughs> and I'll be like in the corner. I'm like, I'm fucking comfortable right here. Like, <laughs> lay, lay my head on the as fucking as, bed. As she takes the blanket top, bro. I'll take off layers of my clothing. I was like, I'm hot anyways. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I'll be like, you know what's a bad move? When they only give you a little bit, so you take the whole thing off. Oh yeah, you're like, yeah, you're like, I don't even want it. Anymore. I'll go, dude. Yeah, I, I'll be, I'll be. That that shit to be petty. That's like funny, bro. To me. It like, is so funny. So, it is so, so funny. funny how many things like we counteract shit. Yeah. With. Bro, like we <laughs> we uh, too long. no, dude. Yeah, oh bro. yeah, bro. Like it, it can get crazy, fucking like kid <laughs> petty. Like I'll be I'll, I'll be on the <laughs> ground, man. This shit's comfortable. I'm okay down here. I'm like retarded. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> no shit, like like dude, like we'll be like kids. Like this is my room, my bed. Like shit like that. And I'll be like, okay, I'll go on the ground. My carpet, like, I'll be on a chair, but I'm fine right here. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, dude, that's it, it'll get hell. Sean, that is G, bro. It'll get hell. I'll do it. I'll do anything. In Sean, you're a little enough. petty, dude. You're a little no, petty, no, Sean. Like, I know, like, I, at that point, I know, it's almost weird. I know we're okay at that yeah. point. Because we wouldn't be talking like that if it was super bad. But if, if she's like, my bed, like, I'll be like, all right. So I'll be on, I'll be, I'll be on the fucking desk over here. Like, I will do anything at that point. Because I know it's okay. If yeah. it was really bad, it obviously wouldn't be like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I would definitely do some shit. You're like evil, Maddie. You taking that's the you take the blanket when you're mad? I honestly, you're honestly, evil. I think that's a universal girl thing. You do like that when too, you're Christine? mad, you just oh yeah, I'm like be, some somehow I become so strong. Like no, same. At night when I sleep, <laughs> like I am yanking that. Like my boyfriend is like double my weight, but I'm yanking that <laughs> you shit are from him. Evil. You both are evil. It's because I've been getting cold too. You guys do that yeah. shit where you like, don't need the whole blade. <laughs> what is the whole blade yeah. gonna do? What is it gonna add to? You? I have to wrap myself in it, and I have yeah. to wrap my leg around yes. it too. Yes. Do, do y'all do that shit where like you know you're tucked the other way? You like put that shit under your knee so we can't yes. pull it back. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm like, is that a universal? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get that shit back. No, bro. and you gotta grip the you gotta grip the blanket with like your fist. You gotta ball it up and like twist it, Damn. and then like curl it up right here. Damn. Jesus. Never budging. <laughs> Guys, I have an image of my ex, <laughs> like one of my exes. I was mad, so like I took the whole blanket, right? And then like I woke up, and he had like a little corner of the yeah. of the blanket. Nah, you be going, you be going through it. If you're a dude, you be you be straight. Yeah, you yeah. Would, bro. You're you're literally. Yeah. You imagine getting in an argument, then being in the shittiest position ever of sleeping, thinking about it all fucking night. Then you have to wake up to an argument. I know. Hey, you guys. So we're gonna they're yeah. wrapped up. So we're gonna talk about it now. Nah, you y'all wake up. I be in the craziest ball, like trying to sleep too. Best to best sleep of y'all life. Y'all wake up mm, like over the problem. I don't. Even know what we were finding about. <laughs> I'm all like two hours of sleep. <laughs> the cracked out base on it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't even know what we were finding about. That shit throbbing too. Your fucking head is hurting. Your eyes are literally hurting because they're open so because it's so fucking cold in that room. So let's go out. I'm tired. Oh, you're always tired. I'm tired. No. <laughs> you're always tired. Sean's in a demon's coming out right nah, now, nah, bro. Nah. That part you cut. That, 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 that part you cut. That part you cut. I'll leave that shit in. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Uh, you hear that is fucking hilarious. No, Sean, bro. that was too real. That is, I, I that's, that. that's probably some of the I realest shit I've ever heard in my life yeah. right now. Have, have, la lady, ladies, have you ever like uh, woken up or felt your man like shivering after you took the whole blankets? Yeah. Damn, and you still didn't give him nothing? No. No. Oh my If he God. fucked up, why would I give him... He could, get warped? he could give the little warped? He could get the little corner. He's a human basic, being, you know. Basic human rights? He could get the towel. Spit all over my I'm so sorry. I'm or he could get the pillow and then cover it. How would you how would you feel himself. how would you feel if you woke up next? <laughs> how how would you feel if you woke up and he had a towel on top of him? Because you took all the blankets. I've done that before. No, no, I'll, Christine, Christine, tell me. How would you feel if you after you took all the blankets, you woke up and he just had a towel on him? He got up and got his own towel. I would laugh and then <laughs> feel bad for him, and then I would like tuck him into bed. Question. My favorite thing is like tucking my boyfriend into bed. See, you're so nice sometimes, but you're so evil. It's no, so cute. It's so wait, wait. cute. Uh, what, ladies? What do you think? Do you think the best way to counteract a girl taking those blankets is what Sean said? Just act like they're not bothered. No, cause we no. know y'all are shivering. Like we know y'all are cold. Yeah. Dude, my family busting in my room. So is the best way to do it? Is the best way to do it to wake you up and say like, "Yo, share some of that shit." If I'm being honest, I don't get cold either. Like I'm chilling. Like I honestly love being cold. My, my, my hands are yeah. like this. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight fucking spread eagle. I'm fine. I can actually sleep. 
I can sleep. I mean, I've been sleeping like Cynthia with my arms tucked in to keep myself warm on oh, my, my stomach. You, you think... do that to get the man's attention. You do not do it for you your want own him, good. You want him to wake why. you up and be like, yo, what's the issue, huh? Yeah. No, I don't know why I do it. No, Christine, no, nah. you do it because you There's want him to wake you up and be like, what's the issue, bro? No, I just want him to know that I'm upset at him. And, yeah. And then, and, yeah, exactly. So if he goes one further, it's going to make you mad. If he goes... You Sometimes I just want him to like actually just like go to sleep and leave me alone, you know, Without and like blanket. with with no blanket. Damn. That's why communication is so hard, right there. That is the you think do you think they want them to like you think they want you to talk to them and talk yeah. it out, but sometimes you just want to go the fuck to bed and be evil and yeah. not give their man warmth. <laughs> so your man could be thinking a million thoughts in his head and says she wants me to talk to her. Right. Wakes you up. But, Rawr. But, <laughs> it is a me. Indeed. But as, indeed. But like, what would you do if like, you were like, hey, babe, wake up. And I'm like, fuck off. I don't want to talk to you. Like, leave me alone Probably right cry. now. Just I'll, go to sleep. I'll try in another 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right what I do. So the timer? Yeah. Sometimes I don't know when to bring it up. Because then like the next morning, I'm like, do you want like, to talk I don't, about exactly. it? Exactly. It's, it's kind of like, I feel like I'm pushing it. For wanting to talk about it when clearly like you're the one who's mad when when she's the one who's when mad. she's the one who's mad but I'm like fuck do I apologize what the hell do I do like I don't I don't know what to do and honestly I don't know what you should do I don't know what I <laughs> yeah, want yeah dude that, <laughs> it's facts bro you <laughs> real no, real you do not know we just can't win I'm gonna just start I'm going on a drive even we don't <laughs> know. <laughs> know I'm leaving <laughs> what if you're at what if you're at hers <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, what do you feel about hers? I feel like you should never leave. Okay. Like, I feel like yeah. staying... I sit there in the cold rubbing my feet together? Or just, like, kind of, like, just, like, do your own thing. Like, don't like ignore her, but, like, shit? go on your phone or something. Or just, like, wait for oh, her wow. to, like... Blast yeah, I was about to say, blast YouTube. Clash of Clans. <laughs> and so, that's... Are you, are you more uncomfortable, let's say... I don't know if you live together or you guys have your own places. Mm -hmm. But if you have a girlfriend that lives with their family, and let's say you lived with your family more uncomfortable at her house when you guys are arguing because you're at her house and her family's there versus oh. my house and my family. Like, at my oh. house, I can make all the power moves. So I could say, no, I'm not doing that. She might get like, because she's at my house, you know? Can't ask me. But, but if you're at her house, she knows, like, she kind of knows the limit. She knows what yeah, she could push. So you get more uncomfortable there. But you know what I'm kind of saying? Yeah, yeah, really. No, I get, I get what you're saying. So like, I don't know. That's a thing. Like no, at my no, house, no, I know what I can push. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know what I could do. It I could home field advantage, my friend. <laughs> home field advantage. Home court no, advantage. You know what, you home court advantage. Nah, nah, bro. You know what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start taking away the toilet paper. Damn. What? You don't get this. The toilet paper. I'm taking away the toilet <laughs> paper. They're taking blankets. I'm taking the toilet paper. If it's at my crib, they, at can't, crib? they can't use it anymore. Toilet paper. It's off limits. Bro, I would wrestle the fuck Whoa. out of you. I'd hide it to get the. I'd hide it. I will look everywhere for I'll some throw damn it away. toilet paper. I'll throw it out. I'll throw it out my window. I'll bring my own toilet paper. Yeah. That the same some. night. <laughs> yeah, I'll go buy yeah, some. Yeah, I'll go buy some. We can go to Walmart twenty four seven. I'll go buy buy a blanket then. I will say. <laughs> okay, bye. The scariest <laughs> thing is when the woman leaves the house, though. Yes. yes. Because I do. That, I personally so like. I Yo, hate I pull when. That move a lot, yeah. yeah, that's scary because I don't that's want a woman driving at night. That's why I like fighting at um my boy. Like not my boyfriend's house, but the guy's place because I'm like fuck you, I'm leaving. Yeah, See, that's scary. I don't like. Right. I don't, you don't like want them to driving at night. Yeah. You, he can't do anything about it either. You know. Yeah, I've grown to not like that. I'd literally rather pick her up, drive her to my house, than drive her home rather than her just drive home. I don't know why. I don't know what that is, but because you're a gentleman. I hate that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Especially driving angry. You gotta think about it for too long. Ooh, driving angry is so dangerous. That's like a double X for you, huh? You cannot drive angry. <laughs> <laughs> you should not drive in general. <laughs> just like, Fuck Say. that guy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was you guys, a joke. man. I haven't even been in a car with you, so I don't. I don't know. You don't want, one you day, don't want to be. one day, let's take the podcast camera <laughs> in dash, my car dash cam? and make it into dash cam, so they know like I'm you not that own. bad, huh? You have my new camera. I have a camera. I have my own. Maybe I'll do a little you, vlog. You Yo, should, I need to just hop on my YouTube shit. I have a video already. That video was honestly fun as fuck. Anyways. Sorry if I'm messing with this. Nah, you're good. Um, other than that, I mean, do y'all have anything else to add on to the taking blankets and being evil? That was, no. that was a good segment. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the New Year's. Wait. I, I have a question. Go ahead. For the boys. What is your equivalent of that? Being what petty? Do you, what do you guys... Oh, being petty? Like, that, how do you guys do your petty shit? Like, what is your ultimate move? Putting, just, on, putting on a song that says... <laughs> Fuck that girl. <laughs> <laughs> or futures. I'll, futures. I'll, be, I'll be very sarcastic. Like you know, you said read my mind. Like mm -hmm. can you? I feel like I'll get hit with that. Just as jokes, and I'll be like, just like sin with her, and she's mad, and I'm like blue. 
She's like, what? <laughs> wow, you're thinking of blue right now. Like, I'll just be super petty with that stuff, just because I want to have That's fun. That's funny. That would make me laugh. Nah, actually. I'm, I'm petty too. Like, even at my house, like, I'll just be petty to her too. Mm. Like, I'll just like spread on the bed or like. That's my jacket. Take that shit off. Like you can't, you can't wear. It. <laughs> I feel like we'll just get petty like that. But I'm never truly angry. If I'm truly angry, like I'm, I'm probably doing what you do. I'm overthinking. My chest hurts. Like I'm like I gotta talk about this. Yeah. But if she's just bringing up something because like maybe she's having a bad day, I'll definitely just pull in like the sarcastic shit and like fuck around. Yeah. Because I think that's more. Fun. When I'm truly angry, I'm not very petty. I don't think so. Are you guys? When you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm not petty, but I I'm mean, scared. I'm just like, what do I do <laughs> when you're truly? Because like when I'm truly angry, it's like I don't know. Like I don't know. Like do I say anything? Yeah, like, I'm, the same I, exact I'm just way. like do. Because then I feel like I'm in a weird place. <sighs> I don't know. I feel Actually, like some, let me. Try I'm gonna go like like seventy thirty seventy. I'll I'll tell her like I'm upset, but you know like you're supposed to. <laughs> Everything's just boring. I know what you're saying though. There's like another thirty percent of me where it's just like, um I've kinda had like the the you should know that type stuff. I feel like every relationship has that, you know what I mean? But um there's sometimes where I'm like like it's quite obvious, like I'm not okay right now. Yeah. Like, and they I don't just don't say anything it. though. Yeah. See, because then that I don't know what to do. Silent. I'm in I'm in the weird position where I'm the one that's mad or I feel hurt. But you don't want to always. I feel bad because I'm feeling. That yeah, way. yeah, yeah. I guess I don't know what to say. It's like it's weird. I don't know. Yeah. Relationships are so complicated. Yeah, yeah. Complicado. Complicado. But but once you talk it out, it feels fucking great. Though. Feels amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're on cloud nine if you're good. After that fight, ooh, feel amazing. amazing. <laughs> Conquer the world. What do you usually do after that fight? <laughs> <laughs> real <laughs> real just like me just like me i walk her out the door and i say i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> tell yeah her, I'll, okay i'll tell her dad i'll have you i lost it <laughs> bad joke bad your dad bad, bad joke bad joke what the heck was <laughs> that? that was a bad joke i didn't want to go out with that um you guys want to pee real quick before we start with the the i usually uh, swing dance new year's questions <laughs> yeah a little break time a little break okay are you getting a haircut right before you go i'm going my hair out on the side too? Yeah, I'm going everywhere. <laughs> he, he looked at you like on the side too. Damn, I'm, I'm going everywhere. Why? Cause I want to like bring back all the curls. Everything? For a little bit, yeah, and then I'll clean it up. I'm gonna grow so mine out too. Then I told him when he grows his, I'm growing mine out. I've been growing mine out. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Are you growing yours out? Uh, no. Damn, your hair grows way faster than his. Oh wait, you. No, my hair does go fast as fuck more. though. Yes. Sean, does yours fall or does it get poofy? Uh, poofy. That's how mine gets. Mine doesn't fall. It goes. That's why I don't like having long hair anymore. Cause the flat, is, I mean, the back is flat, but the, everything <laughs> else is. If you let it grow, you're gonna get that fro back, like that. Dude, that I I had back? a fro. Yeah, I, I had a fro for like I think right before my cut, I cut my hair. I had a, a fro, like yeah. a mini fro, yeah. and I was just done with that shit. Cause it's too frizzy. Does that mean you could get like um, waves? Yeah, probably. I want to see Sean with waves. I had waves. I don't know. I had waves in high school. Oh, shit, Swear to God, you weren't swimming though. <laughs> was this? I mean, <laughs> it was in a lot of ways, but there's like four of them. You were like a community pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Let's go ahead and get the three questions. Go ahead and ask them. Wait, now that I think. Oh wait, never mind. Sean's Sean's hair ask is more curly. Ask the questions. Okay. The questions. <laughs> He's like, Sean's hair is way better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said it's more curly, not better. Ask but, the questions. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know how Nick said he's gonna be nice to me from now on, or like in the coming year, in the New York trip, I'm gonna annoy the fuck out of him to see if he'll get mad at me. I mean, he can still get mad at you. I always keep a. Marty, you should have <laughs> made a bet. You should have gone it. No. Wow. <laughs> you no. said that was your New Year's resolution. It was, and then you spilled everything in my room when I said that I was going to be nice to you, and then I was like, this is going to be impossible. We're already at an hour and 51 minutes. You sure you want to do this? Oh, my brother. Should we? It's the New Year. We can talk about it real quick. Go ahead, Maria. Okay, then out of these three, pick one, since we probably can't do all three. Um, <clears throat> let's do two. Oh, we should do Let's do these. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Let's just do these two. One and two. One and two? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, because we did do best memories before. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, first question is biggest lesson you learned this year? Let's go around. <laughs> I don't know why that made me not want to involve that you said that. 
Let's go. You sound like a teacher right now. Maybe not when I answer the question. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, dude. You're like, let's go. Let's okay, go. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll try to make it more okay. more exciting. Biggest biggest lesson, biggest lesson you learned. That's not bad. Okay. Thank I you. think I think my biggest lesson that I've learned this year is that no matter how selfish you are, everything you do has consequences and affects somebody. Like ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 yeah. ding. I think I think that's, that's nice. I think that's the biggest lesson I learned. Just that like, because I think for the longest time, especially this year, I thought that I could do whatever I wanted to do, and I wouldn't hurt anybody, like, or I, it wouldn't affect anybody. But I've definitely realized that everything I do does affect somebody, and I should be. Isn't that just annoying? It's annoying as fuck. <laughs> I hate you it. You narcissist. No, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I literally hate it. Like I'm. I wish I could go my whole life I not would. knowing that. <laughs> the truth to life, I think, is realizing that you have to be nice to other people sometimes. And, like, you have to be thinking about the consequences of things. Like, regardless of, like, how self-involved you are, yes. it's going to hurt somebody yes. else. It's going to affect somebody else. Yeah. I also learned that, too, because I was kind of, like, I was putting myself sometimes in, like, stupid situations. Like, for example, right? When we went cliff jumping, I kind of was, but that was, like, last year. That was, like, last year, though. Here. But, like, I didn't realize until recently it was kind of, like, my mom was like, oh my God, like you better be careful. And I was like, mom, why the fuck do you care? Like it's like, oh, you get what geez. I mean? Type I, shit. I, didn't, I, I, know, I didn't say, I didn't say that to her, I didn't say that to her. But in my mind, I was kind of like, why Like, why do you care? Like stop worrying. She's like, text me when you get there, text me where you are. Never texted her, never nothing like that. She was like calling me like when we got there and I wasn't picking up the phone. And then after we were done, I called her back. But it was kind of like things like that. I was kind of like, well, I could have gotten seriously injured. Yeah. And for the longest time I was like, well, I'm not putting your life in danger. It's my life, you mm. know what I mean? But things, things like that, like, you should be aware that people Very nice. do Very nice. people do care and people are going to be concerned about you. Period. Wow. Some yeah. people I feel like need to learn that for sure. <laughs> God. That's a good ass lesson, Nick. Wow. Thank you. Appreciate you. Who cut, else? Cut to a video of him being a fucking asshole. <laughs> 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 <I'm> just like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's wow. next? <laughs> I think oh. I'll, I'll go just for a small one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I know all you guys have. I know all you guys have something. Exactly. I have many things, but I don't really want to talk too much. But I would just say it's okay to feel how I feel sometimes. Oh my god, that was one of mine. Yes, yeah, Sage, good one. Elaborate. Good one. No. No, I don't give. I don't wait. I don't get what that means. I though. was gonna. Uh, mine was gonna be it's okay to not be okay. Dude, that was yeah, exactly, mine. Exactly. <laughs> I think I. I think I learned that. It's like it's okay to think about me first. Yeah. Got you. It's okay to be a little selfish. Yeah, in a sense, in a sense. Uh, mine's kind of different from that. Okay, go ahead. Let's see it. Yeah, I don't know if that's My, mine's <laughs> like this. So I could the best way I could put it was at your birthday when I had that total mental. You weren't in the room. It was you and Carrie. Oh yeah. When yes, I told you, yes, I was like, yes, bro, yes, I don't yes. think I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm like, I've always been big on like helping myself mentally, but um, there was just like this one like, at this point where like I thought I was okay. But like, I just, I kind of, I kind of knew, but I kind of neglected that super deep down, I was not okay. So for the longest time I was like, well, I feel a lot better than I did back then. So maybe like, this is me being happy. And eventually throughout the year, it kind of caught up to where I just like, slowly just started regressing as a person. I just became like more and more like to myself, like less, like more um, introverted throughout mm -hmm. the year. And it's because, like, I started realizing, like, like, am I not okay? Like, I've been telling myself I'm okay. Like, what the fuck is going on with myself? Mm -hmm. So um, I kept it bottled up, and I realized I kept it bottled up until your birthday when I just totally had a mental breakdown because I was just done with, like, stupid problems and, like, just little shit kept adding up mm -hmm. on top of, like, me thinking I was okay, and now I'm like, what the fuck's going on with myself? Mm -hmm. So on your birthday, I had a complete fucking mental breakdown in one of the bathrooms, and... uh. I forgot who I told, but I was like, yo, go get Sage, go get Carrie. Like, I'm not going to talk to anybody but them. So literally they came in and like we locked ourselves in the bathroom and I just <laughs> gave them a whole spiel. I'm like, bro, I think, I think I'm depressed. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, I'm not okay. I, I thought I was doing good, but I'm not. So I kind of like on that vibe where it's like, I know it's not okay to be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess like that's the one of the lessons I learned because it's like, I've been lying to myself. Mm. and it fucking sucks to say that but it's true yeah. yeah and then secondly the second thing i learned was um like taking my family for granted <coughs> i feel mm. like i'm oh, yeah. super super fucking tight with my family like family is definitely like my, my best friends like you know my relationship with everybody in my yeah. family it's like 
I'm so grateful for it. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't have what I have, but I feel like I don't always treat them the best to where like, um, there's been a few times where like, I haven't gotten along with my mom because I didn't treat her right. As in like my mom, I'm closest with my mom out of everybody in my family, but there's certain times where like, I hit a point early in the year where um, I was kind of doing the same thing as you, just going out, not letting her know, hey, I'm, I'm here, all that. Never giving her phone calls of like, I'm okay. I come home late at night, she'd just be worrying about me. And then um, there hit a point where like, one day I came home and I just laid on the couch. And I think we did, a, I don't think it was New York trip, but it was something else. Might have been like San Diego when we were out for like a day. And I came home and she came in the room and she would tell me like, oh, how was your trip? And I was like, it was good. Just neglect, like totally just like putting her off, like not like talking to her. And it fucking broke me cause she broke down. And she told me like, listen, all I do is like, I want to make sure you're fine. Like you don't give me the time of the day anymore. Like mm-hmm. what the fuck's going on? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. hard. Yeah, it was no, like, it's, it's shitty. Honestly, like top three worst feelings I've ever had in my life. I was just like the person that cares about me the most in this fucking world. I'm letting her down. I'm not caring for her, like my own mother. Mm-hmm. So I feel like um, I do, like I did realize that and I'm still working on it. Cause I, I can admit, I still don't always take my mom out to dinner, like spend one-on-one time with her, which I know she wants. So 2023, I definitely want to like improve that. Oh, yeah. And I definitely just like want to show my parents, especially that like they come before anybody else. Mm-hmm. so that's something like i do need to improve on yep yeah <clears throat> yeah that's good man. that was good mm-hmm. i love yeah. that yeah I love so, that. tell your parents you love them huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah cherish those yeah. that care about you yeah sounds yeah. very good so yeah i definitely want to <coughs> do more stuff with my parents next year i didn't i didn't really recognize that until i moved out though yeah i think moving out made me this is probably the only reason why i recognize that because now i'll give my mom a call and I'll talk with her for a long time, and I'll let her know what's going I'm on. I'm glad my life. mom like went off of me though, because it was definitely like I'm I'm selfish. Oh, yeah. it hurt! It hurts like hell, but it's yeah. good in the end. Yeah. Exactly. So, and like like I said, like mentally, when I, like I ever I go through anything, my mom's the first person to fucking realize yeah. it. Yeah. And when I don't want to speak up about it, she knows. Yeah. Oh, dude. I, so I feel on top like of that, I'm like, you deserve this more than anybody in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I want to show her. Yeah. That's good. I agree with that. Is that kind of what? Is that kind of what you meant, Sage? Um. And uh, yeah, I guess I guess everybody feels that way, you know what I mean. But um, mine was just more so like, um, mm, I guess that too, because it comes to talking about my feelings. Like I don't talk about my feelings. You know what I mean? If I if I'm hurt, I'm not gonna be like, uh, okay, I'm, I'm doing this. So I'm like, I'll I'll just be to myself, and I'll be like, okay, you know what? I'll cope with this by myself. Okay. Maybe I'll spill it to somebody, maybe a little bit. It'll make me feel better that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's okay. Okay to not be okay sometimes. Oh, I, get what, I, get, I get what you mean now. Definitely okay to not be okay. I, get yeah. I would go with that. Don't be hard on yourselves. It's okay. Do not be. Yeah. It, it'll eat you alive. Period. Sometimes yeah. it's just hard to open your mouth, even though there's going to be people that are there for you. But, like, I mean, I could never talk to anyone. I fear thyself. Yes. Yeah. I think that's the, <laughs> <laughs> that's the roughest thing, man. Yeah. I am the enemy. <laughs> All right, there's three of you fuckers left. Who wants you to go next? Uh, I can play off of that. I Same. think I went through the hardest thing I had to go through in my life this past couple of months, and that uh, made my mind really fucking weird. Just weird. Like, I mean, I remember talking to you like it's like a simulation. Like nothing really felt normal anymore. Everything kind of felt like dragged on and just like going day by day. That was the first time I had to realize I was not completely okay. You know, like... I feel like I always just make myself okay. And as long as I'm doing what I usually do in my normal life and maybe just not like staying at home, I think I'm okay. But you know, I kind of wasn't. So that took a lot to understand. And I don't, I think I'm always positive and it's just okay to be negative sometimes. I think if I always tell myself like, oh, but you always have this, you always have this, it'll drive you insane. Yeah. You don't want to be ungrateful, but it's okay to be like shit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's okay to understand that like, your life sucks ass sometimes, you know? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think a lot of people always compare and be like, at least you're not like this, at least you're not like this, but you have your own problems. Right. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you don't need to compare yourself to others. If something, whether your problem is small or big to other people, it's your problem. So I think I always try to tell myself like, well, at least this is this, or like, like my life isn't this bad. And then I think at one point I was like, nah, let's just feel like shit today. Like it's yeah. okay to just feel like, just like at the bottom of a pit, man. But. That's good. Yeah, I think that 
that helped me. That's what I want to be better at going into 2023. That's where we're going. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know. And maybe open my mouth a little more and being okay to talk to people because I don't like talking about my feelings. I hate that shit. <laughs> Period. Wait, love that. I love yeah. your answer, Sean. Okay. But, yeah. Anything for you? Yeah, it's crazy that you guys talked about this specific topic because it's something that I've been dealing with too. Um, I kind of just tried... I guess like I thought I was okay too because I was my thing was always like oh go with the flow and you know like things will work out things will work out or I distract myself with either friends going out or alcohol and um you know because that helped with me temporarily but um I also kind of broke down a couple days ago actually and just everything hit me all at once because before like yeah i would let myself sit with my feelings but it just wasn't enough like i thought it was i was doing enough but i wasn't i was still like not fully letting myself feel certain emotions that i should have let myself feel yeah and i thought it was me does that make sense like no, i does, thought it, it was does, me it does, it does. just being fine and like going with the flow and just being fine with whatever life throws at me but it was actually me trying to what is it like cover up Mm -hmm. that by saying like oh like it's fine like Mm -hmm. this can happen to me and i'll be fine like Mm -hmm. it was my way of kind of coping with shit and saying like oh like did i die though like that was my phrase like i like in my head i'd be like yeah my thing is always am i in jail for the rest of my life or am i gonna die yeah am i dead like which is a bad thing to think about because i mean you never know what the hell's gonna happen but no i agree with that and like sean said when you were like oh like i just let myself just like feel shitty for the day that was literally me like a couple days ago i just let myself feel shitty and it's okay to not do shit Mm-hmm. you know when and take that break when you really need to so yeah. that was crazy that you guys talked about that it's i think everybody that can about. relate yeah. to that in your Facts. own way don't ever feel like your problems don't matter or right? they don't amount up to others because everyone has their own shit you know yeah. it's good to be positive but just let yourself feel like shit sometimes because that's what you gotta do it's hard to put up a front for so long oh yeah <clears throat> <Mm-mm>. um <clears throat> I feel like you guys covered most of, like, what I was going to say. I think to add on to that, it would probably be, like, taking accountability for, like, myself in, like, my relationships, like, with my friends and, like, with my partner, with my parents, with my family. Like, yes, I can be upset at them for, like, not being enough in whatever category but it's like it's also my responsibility to be like hey you know what like you doing this upsets me like letting them know that whatever isn't like up to my expectation and like communicating that with them like it's not up to them to like read my mind and it's up to me to open my mouth and use my words and talk about what is upsetting me so i never knew that shit was so hard man that shit is the hardest yeah i know that's it's crazy yeah i think everyone struggles with things like in different ways and stuff like that i remember i don't know why we were talking about this like the comparing thing about like comparing your life to people that are in shittier positions than you or better than you i remember like when we first started doing a podcast i remember you said something like that to i think austin or sean do you remember it was like a long time ago someone said something i remember i think i think i know what time it was it was like when we first getting started and say something about like hey like Almost like checked one of us and was like, "Hey, like you, 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 you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't compare yourself to people that are in shittier positions than you, or in people that are." Uh, people always say like, people always say like, "Don't compare yourself to people who are in better positions." But what resonated with me, because I still think about that like a lot when I yeah. start comparing myself to people that are in shittier positions, because I'll, I'll do that too. I'm kind of like, I'll be sad about something, and I'm like, "Well, like at least I have a, a, my own apartment." You know, and so then it's just like it's like a thing that you try you, to push yourself. Yeah, on. you try. Yeah. yeah, so you don't confront your problem. You're just like you're like minimizing your yeah. emotions. Yeah. Oh, yeah, or you're making yourself feel bad yeah, for feeling yeah. bad. You yeah. get what I mean? So it's just so funny that y'all bring that up because that's some shit that actually like I think about probably like th- two to three times a month. Is just that one moment when you said that because it was something I never thought there of. It was go. I've always just thought like don't compare yourself to people that are better than you. It's I never thought about like don't compare yourself to people that are like lower than you or people that are like, not lower than you people that are in like a shittier position than you yeah yeah, yeah that's okay. what i meant mom um, told me that yeah she got really mad at me actually one day for doing that and i was like damn 
Because it's all perspective, yeah. too. Yeah. Like, everyone's life is fucking shitty at the end of the day, unfortunately. Yeah. And we're all just, like, yeah. on this stupid rock, like, floating through space. Like, it's your life, you know? Just... You gotta make hey, yeah no no facts. You gotta you gotta make the fucking most of it though. You know you gotta do you gotta do like the most with your life. You know live on the edge. Yeah. Well, some people want to live on the edge. Some people want think of life as you gotta give back as much as you can. I think the way I see things is just put it, putting, like I think the one thing that I want to do the most is just put people on. Like I think that's like the the biggest thing that I've ever wanted to do. But people that I actually like care about and like not the people that, you know. I don't give a fuck about. It. Yeah, but, man. Um, yeah, that's good stuff. I love it. Yeah, yeah. We got a like a tuberculosis or something. Something, like that? something's going on. It's that plug and play. <laughs> and I gotta you shout you out. Hmm? I gotta shout you out. You helped me a long way, my man. I got you, B Dog. All too. the time, all me the time. Too, I got you. I got all y'all, bro. I got all y'all. But I say it all the time. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, like I said, it's like my like being able to do this with my best friends. Absolutely. You know, I become closer with y'all because of it, and me. Even though if I don't say it enough, but like I really couldn't have done all this and have what I have now if it wasn't for you guys. You guys all need to know that. And you guys that are looking around, and us. these people, I can't even speak. And these motherfuckers, you guys are dope, man. Honestly, no, it's crazy. Him. Yeah. I said other than that, though. Now let's let's wrap it up. The song plan. Yes. So this one is. No, similar. No, well, like, no, no, no. I meant like. Oh, we're not doing the second question. Okay. I think I think we're good. That was a good. That was okay. a good. That was okay. a good ending. I think that, that was a good ending. ending. Okay. We're like but, two hours eight minutes. That was oh, shit. We can ask that like as another deep question. Like if you host it or something like that next week. I don't do a bonus bonus thing. Like, okay. Bonus question. Bet. Okay. Um. Do you want to sign us off? Thank them for three hundred k and wish them a happy new year. Everyone yes. say. Everyone say one nice thing to the viewers. Okay. Oh man, dude, you guys. Or one you guys, advice. Well, oh, yeah. no, oh, I'll, 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 you guys are so fucking cool. Like, I, I love dude, the, yeah, the I fan love pages, the comments on the fan pages, the comments underneath everything we post. Like, it's so good. fucking. I feel like positive. we have loyal so cool. fans. You guys are For so real. fucking loyal and so supportive. Like, that's just what's so cool. Like, people don't just come and like dip. Wait. People don't just like. I wait, see, wait, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? I see people don't, I, multiple like the same multiple people. Of the same people. Yeah, like, I, recognize I recognize the same people commenting, yeah. the same yeah. people liking stuff, the same people that the repost messaging. stuff like that. Like I like the fact that it isn't just like new people that arrive and then leave. Yeah, but we yeah. appreciate y'all too. And the too. new ones they stay loyal too, yeah. which yeah, is a yeah. great thing. Yeah, nah, I appreciate every single one of you guys. But um. You go ahead and sign us off. Other than that, then you Wait, I want to shout out one person though. Yeah. One of the, so you know the girl. Oh, yeah, let's do a fan shout out. I'll, I'll oh, you did it. say that. You did say that. She joined my live the other day, and like, we're all. I know we're all grateful for her. So, you know, on TikTok, the one that does edits of us. Oh yes. Oh, she just had 10k or something like that. Right? Oh, that's oh, my, tough. Yeah, I know. Amariana. Yeah, yeah, Amariana. Yeah, yeah Amariana. So she joined my live the other day, and I was telling her that like, she th like I guess she thought that um we all kind of just like slide through like we don't really notice it mm -hmm. but we talk no, about we that definitely shit we notice it we, we notice. literally send your edits to each other yeah even though if we don't make comment all the time no, I'm you don't go yeah. unnoticed so um, yeah. I, personally i want to say thank you for like just take the, the time out of day to yeah. do the hard work and like just enjoying us because like i appreciate that a lot yeah no for yeah. real all you yeah. like some of your guys's edits are so fire like i'm i actually I'd be shook. Yeah. I'd be saving them too. You guys are very talented. On my camera. Yeah. yeah. Very talented. Yeah. This was also giving me like a purpose too. Like I, I like the fact that we're bringing joy to people and right. that we're giving advice, you know? Yeah. That shit was definitely something that I've always wanted to do with my life, like bring joy to people and I'm happy that I'm making that shit you, happen right you now. You guys should oh, yeah. do fan yeah. shout outs. We should. We should. We should. Make, you guys not. matter. So <laughs> fan shout out. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> Who's this fucking guy? <laughs> Who's this man? He's, JK, he's right though. <laughs> 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 I'm Kenny Sean. Cheers to all you guys. Thank you guys for another Cheers great podcast. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers to everybody. Cheers to another great podcast. So let's, let's Thank you guys. Thank you for 300k subs and to a happy fucking new year. I happy. am one of your hosts, Snickerheada. I am your other host, Madu. I am Devin Paul. No, you ain't. You a host too, brother. We all hosts. Oh, tonight. Host. My name is. <laughs> oh wait. No. John. I'm your host, John Williams, or side host. What do you call? Are you going this way? I'm your host, Christine. Oh. <laughs> I'm your host, Davino. <laughs> I'm your host, Sage. And thank you guys for everything. Salute, my people, to another great podcast. Oh, shit. And to 300 k To a new Happy year. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy new, new Year. Happy New Year. Man, 2020. Hey, you know, it's, ba it's bad luck to toast with an empty glass. You guys got to drink a little bit of it. No, my stomach hurts. There's a little bit, man. Oh, wow. 
kind of long. Ooh, what a great sour. year. <laughs> 2022 was the craziest year. 2022 went by fast. Crazy. This year went by so fast. That part. 